I love this part, waiting to see what you guys are going to do as names. <laughs> I didn't mean to go I'm back. Gonna, I'm going to run up and get some coffee. Yeah, I accidentally clicked the go back button too quickly because I hit enter mm -hmm. on something else I was typing and <laughs> ended up going back mid-sentence, I think. So you, you weren't there when we decided on a name? I was. And then as soon as we decided on it, I accidentally hit enter because I was writing out my score sheet. And that was right when the pop-up happened. Yeah, I we saw that. I saw Kelly was back and the rest of the team wasn't. I thought, oh, okay. Was she voted out of the room or what? <laughs> Not yet. Although they might choose to. Oh. <laughs> what topics we have tonight. We didn't I don't know if you've noticed, Kelly, but the, the crack from the silence activity is, uh, is emerging behind you, just so you know. Yeah, it, there hasn't been too much activity from it, so I hope it's safe at least till the end of the game. Oh, okay. We'll keep an eye on it. Just like we we'll we're eye. watching for uh, we're I watching mean, for any creatures that come up behind Janine. Come yeah, now. just warn me if you see a cougar coming. Amy <laughs> lasted for years with the crack in her bedroom, so that is, I that is true. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna ask, are you the girl who waited? <laughs> we'll find out. The only thing that comes out of the, the crack is extra lives, as far as I know. True. Mm -hmm. the last week or so. Apparently, we those extra lives weren't more. necessary anyway. What lives vanish into the crack. Rory disappeared into the crack at one point. He no longer existed. But then he did again. Yes. And then exactly. Did again. What'd you start to say, Mike? I said, cracks in the wall, you should not just disregard those if the people in Florida have taught us anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're not happy about cracks. That's... Yeah. yeah, the more and more you hear about that, it sounds like there was a little more evidence that something was really bad there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was a story, I think it was on, well, I saw it on my Instagram this morning. I think it was New York Times. The, a lady and her husband, she was like up getting a glass of water and she saw this crack on her ceiling and she could see it moving like down the side of her wall. And so she yelled at her husband to grab the kids and get out of the house, get out of the apartment. And then they, that event that, that saved them. Wow. I don't know about that. Is that true? Cause I didn't think anybody had any time. I think it was New York times. I, mean, I didn't think anybody had any time to get out. It was like two in the morning, one thirty in the morning. Something well, like maybe, that. Maybe she was playing trivia with, uh, you know, somebody yeah. from the Pacific <laughs> Coast who was up at that time. Like I am. We would know if it was somebody. Had an hour double, left for trivia. I'd have to double check the time because I know there was one story where um, somebody was on the phone with his wife, who was in the in the building on the apartment, called him and said the pool is gone, and he said, "Leave the pool is gone," and she said, "It's just," and then it cut off, and the whole building collapsed. I saw oh, that. Oh man! Yeah. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Susan. Hi, everybody. So I don't, I don't know what time the collapse happened, but I, I think I think it might have been sometime during the day. It was middle of the night. It was at night. I thought it was one thirty in the morning. But people okay. people are up at all hours of the night. I, I, I guess people. I guess it's just, I guess it's just me who can't make it past eleven. <laughs> Right. <laughs> when I did the thing collapse? I I saw a bunch of collapse. A week ago. Okay. A week, week ago. ago Thursday. Yeah, last, last Tuesday, Thursday. wasn't it? Thursday, yeah. It was well, Thursday. Thursday, Thursday yeah. yeah. Tuesday. Oh man, it's just horrible. All right, so let's get some nice names that uh, uh, would be fun. <clears throat> I like dated names. I think they're great. So uh, team number one, it's uh, Avi, James, Janine, Rob, and Deborah. You will be in this group that you're not in right now. Okay. So let's hear what your name group name is. Mask ah, that's good. No mask. That is the question. Mask or no mask. That is the question. Mm. Okay. Very good. I need to put that in your room title. Rename. I want Zoom to let me have a longer, I can put longer titles in. All right, group number two, it's Jane, Kelly, Kyle, Mono, and Robin. What is your name? 
We are the unknown unknowns. <laughs> you really have to watch out for those. <clears throat> Is that in, in honor of Rummy? Yep. Oh, I don't get that connection. I don't get it either. Donald, Donald Rumsfeld. Rumsfeld. Donald Rumsfeld, yeah. Donald Rumsfeld said um, that he was asked about whether they, you know, what they made plans for or whatever. And one of his quotes was, was um, you probably you probably have it better since you've gone with the quote with the you got your known unknowns and your known unknowns. You have unknowns, your known your unknowns, unknowns, you unknowns, you have your known unknowns, you have your yeah. unknowns, and then you have your unknown unknowns. Yeah. What was That's that a, a reference? Kind of pseudo to? profound thing that Rumsfeld liked to say. Or was it Iraq? It's probably Iraq. Iraq about Iraq, about yeah. the weapons of mass destruction. Oh, okay. the things we know we know, the things we know we don't know, and the things we don't even know that we don't know. Yeah. Somebody probably wrote that out for him and he memorized it. <laughs> no, he probably no. He he was a smart guy. He was just yeah. arrogant mm -hmm. and smug. No, I'm sure yeah. that the intelligence people had a grid that had those exact words in it. Yeah, yeah. Because you know we're gonna put this intelligence bit in this square and this one in this square. And that's yeah, but, analysis. And but he we'll also said things like when he was asked to to war. when he was asked after six months into where where are the weapons of mass destruction. He said, well, we know where they're at. They're somewhere north or east or west or south. <laughs> 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 yeah. Those are your known unknowns. <laughs> okay, so group number three, who will no longer be known as group number three unless you name yourself group number three. Bob, Aaron, Isabella, and Mike. So in honor of vaccine or in honor of COVID variants and Star Trek. We are the Delta Quadrant. Ah, how nice they've named themselves after a, a coronavirus variant. <laughs> That's good. That's nice and dated. Okay, so uh, it'll, it'll show dating when we go back and look at this years from now. We'll say, what? All right, the Delta Quadrant is going to be playing against Ben, Gail, Carl, and Wilma. Who are you guys tonight? Free Britney, not Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> too late too That's late yeah. <laughs> the deed is done stupid oh, pennsylvania we're lucky we got the time he served served or we could have just called ourselves the cosby shit show uh, <laughs> yeah, that works too carl <laughs> next week all right caspian jeff kevin and peggy who are you tonight we're the ever relevant Bob Loblaws Loblog. <laughs> I like it. Uh, okay. you say that, Jenner, Susan, can you say that? Bob Loblogs Loblog. Who's <laughs> Bob Loblog? <laughs> Didn't we already have that team or something really close to it? No. Or, I don't think or a so. question about it, maybe? We did. Sounds that? like one of the, one of the adults. Totally remember that. One of the adults in uh, yeah, Charlie right. Brown. It's an interesting well, development. Does sound like one. He's a lawyer who has a law blog. Yeah. Some arrested, arrested development. Arrested development. Arrested development. He's a lawyer. Yeah, a lawyer from Arrested Development. There are shirts with this printed on it. <laughs> because it's just I need to check out. There's so many people who are like, blah blah blahs law blog, and it's just like, wait, what? <laughs> Blah 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 blog. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. It's all right. I always thought it was somebody who was really like in the news for representing Trump or something. You know, is it a good law blog? <laughs> no, it's just blah blah. It's just blah blah. <laughs> blah blah. All right. So here we have tonight, 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 which is game number sixty, Sasintha. Mm -hmm. Uh, July the 1st, 2021. Here we are on season two. I think we're on game three of season yep. two. And we are, our teams tonight are mask or no mask. That is the question versus unknown unknowns versus the Delta Quadrant versus free Britney, not Cosby versus blah, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Already paid blah. off. That's, <laughs> yeah, mission accomplished. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> All right. So we have tonight, 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 our people who are going to be our leaders tonight in our group, mass 
trivia guidance, uh, we have Rob the Palmer, we have Robin the Welsh, Mike the Wolf, Gail the Nap, Gail Nap, is that right? Gail the Nap, and Jeff the Edwards. So. How about Mac the Knife? No, no, Mac the Knife. Mac, Mac actually got sentenced to three years today or yesterday. What? Allison Mac for her, her role in Next. Oh, yes. Yes, from oh, Smallville. By the oh, yeah. From and I wouldn't know yeah. anything about that. I followed Nexium when it came out, but it was I was reading about it last night and I was following our better Wikipedia page, which led me to read like five more Wikipedia pages. Really that sad. That story is crazy. Thanks for the update. I hadn't, I read up on it a while back and I yeah, didn't know what the not, update was. So they finally, they sentenced her. Is that what you were saying? Yeah, to yesterday. Yesterday she got three years. She's all upset. But uh, well, yeah, maybe you should have thought of that before you were, you know, helping brand women with, with, uh, yeah, your in her initials. Terrible. All right. So, Rob, you're going to go up first. Okay, so um, I was going to do a different category, but Karen had such a good time with it later. It was a follow up to one I've already done that she really loved, so I'm putting that off. And instead, I am going to do this category Two Magical Ladies, I Dream of Jeannie versus Bewitched. Oh, look at his background. Now I see the background with the woman. It was just a moon a minute ago, was it? Or were you just blocking it? No, I did have the, uh, the category I thought I was going to do, and I changed it. Yes, I did. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you questions about both of those series. Hopefully people know what I'm talking about. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I sure Otherwise, do. you're all in big trouble. Uh, okay. All, all right. right. Yes. Who's got Kelly. the powers? Who's doing the powers? Sorry, that's me. Kelly muted herself and nobody, nobody else. Yep. <laughs> We're muting in three, two, one. Okay, first question. Which series had the earliest starting year or did they start in the same season? So we got one of three choices there. Shouldn't be too many wrong answers. Question number two, which series ran for more seasons or did they run for the same number? Again, it's a one out of three. Question number three. Which series ran for more seasons in black and white? Bewitched, Genie, or they both had the same number? Again, three possible answers. All right, this is the first one, which is a little more open-ended. Number four, in which season of Bewitched was Dick York replaced with Dick Sargent in the role of Darren Stevens? Anybody notice that besides me? Question number five. And I watched this series live, by the way. Question number five, both series I watched live. Which series did Screen Gems, an American film production and distribution studio produce, Bewitched, Genie, or both? So again, you get one, two, or three. And although this is an open-ended question, there's not many answers because of the time frame these series were in, which is, which network was Bewitched on? And nobody better say Nickelodeon. Question number seven. Which series was Genie on? Which uh, season? Uh, network, sorry. It's network, network, I'm misspeaking here. Which network were these both on? It's clearly Nick at Night. Yep. I was assuming that Genie was on all of the seasons. On all the networks? Uh, question number eight. Name Samantha's identical cousin. So the first really open-ended one. And name Jeannie's evil twin sister. Of course, both of those characters in both shows were played by the main actress. Although I don't understand how a cousin's identical, but we'll Do they have that. mustaches? <laughs> you mean go teeth. And that, the final question. What? What? Patty Duke, Patty Duke accomplished. I know, it. I know. I was going to go there. She started it all. And finally, number 10, the role of Samantha's mother and Dora in Bewitched was played by Agnes Moorhead. That would have been too easy. What actor, actress in Genie was born with a family name Moorhead? 
And there you go. Oh boy, I don't know if I remember. I did watch a lot of these, so there's hope. <laughs> I am on your team, Rob, so. I know, all right, good luck people. I see where the prototype for Bad Janet came from. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that does make sense. All right. Nobody have any questions they need answered? I was hoping for a Twilight Zone. Which uh, characters were on the Twilight Zone? Dick York, Dick Sargent, or both? Mm -hmm. I think it was both, wasn't it? It was both. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's go to your rooms and see how we do. Good luck, all. Play nice. Oh, I gotta go to my room. Oh, Deborah needs to go to her room. I'm just daydreaming here. I was wondering what was going on. Okay, Deborah goes to room number one, and I think that's no. Was it Deb? Was it room number one? Yeah, and I go to room number one. Boy, am I! All right. I think that um, Hello, team. I have no, no idea what they were like. All right. So for, from the little before you just appeared, Susan, I think I, the curse is going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless you're going to carry it, Susan. Well, actually, Deborah didn't say anything. That was before she got here. All right. Oh, I, them, I pay very little attention to like how many seasons something is. Or I'm going to go see another. Uh, uh, okay, go play another. Good luck. Room. Good luck. Good luck. And I mean that. Good luck. Good luck. Good, good luck. luck. All right. I read the Wikipedia well, article like 10 years ago. <laughs> you read the Wikipedia article when? Well, like 10 years ago. Oh. <laughs> oh. Where's James? Yeah. He'll know these. No, he should know these. He's right? kind of there without him. James. Like he's not, he's not on James, the come back. Come back, come back, back James. James. <laughs> that is if you know your I dream of Jeannie yeah. and, and um, because I I felt really fortunate. I recognized them as TV shows, I think. Yeah, right. right. That's good. Well, see, I watched these, but I didn't watch them live. So, I mean, it was just like you watch this, that, you know, you did. So, I don't, I don't know if I know seasons are. Okay, let's think about this a second. Well, we have one in three chance. So, which series yeah, had the earliest the first starting bit. year? I know Dream of Jeannie. She showed her, they, they, they made her cover up her navel. That was a huge deal because she was going to show her navel and that wasn't they what? Okay. her neighbor her navel her belly button yeah she sort of dressed like a um like a belly dancer or something right so yeah. she had a she had her so she, it had to cover up her belly button that was a big freaking deal so um you know i heard a dream of genie um whereas i'm not sure i've really heard of bewitched they were and so characters. i'm thinking they were they I were something that first. would have been when i was younger and would have been on at my grandma's and so <laughs> i think it? Dream did of you catch it <laughs> no i missed it oh so i dream of when genie was about the mosquito. space program so Hi. she was she was in cape canaveral or something like that right and she was she was uh, attached to a guy who was uh, um, what? I, I dream of genie. Was about a genie. Yes, I know, but she was I found thought, in a bottle. I thought she oh. did housework by pointing at yeah. things. But that, no, that, 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 that was bewitched. That was bewitched. Did yeah. the housework by like pointing with like two fingers of her head or something? No, bewitched. She went her. Oh. She did her nose. Yeah. She sure? she wiggled her nose. Yeah, and, like, and it made a sound. It went dee -dee 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 -dee. So, so Bewitched, I know, is black and white for a long time. I Dream of Jeannie. I saw that in black and white, too, but we had black and white TV for yeah, a Yeah, how do really I know? Time. I don't remember. Okay, <laughs> so we have the earliest starting yeah. I think it was Bewitched. You think okay. one is Bewitched? I think number one is Bewitched because the I Dream of Jeannie was, again, like I said, it was about the space program. It was about, a, and she had that navel, you know, people were upset. That was more of the 60s. 
like the mid well all of these were 60s oh wait somebody i've got a somebody just came in home let me see <clears throat> both of them were 60s oh it's james he's no wonder he's not here okay what series ran for more seasons i think again i think it was bewitched uh james sure. i'll post i'll post in the questions again so that you have them Wait, I've got the same question in here twice, right? Oh no, in black and white is third. Okay, Jane, uh, did you get the James he here? There he yeah, is. Here I didn't hear I just I know nothing. So wait, wait, you don't know anything about I Dream a Genie or or um Bewitched? No, no, about the questions that were Okay, good. So so we're kind of relying on you. James, Maybe I just you put the them in and, again for you. Yeah. Avi. Avi, just put them in for you again, James. Look in the chat. Avi, Avi, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That was... What did she call you? Avi. Oh, Avi <laughs> instead of Avi. That's good. Our letters are right Avi. next to each other on the keyboard. <laughs> James, don't go anywhere. People are going to panic. <laughs> okay. Which, um, okay, question number one, James. Which series started uh, earliest? I'm thinking bewitched. bewitched or okay, good. That's what I said. Okay, go to question number two. Because I, I went through a few of these. So let's see if we agree. What series ran for more seasons? Or did they run for the same number? I'm thinking bewitched because they had uh, two uh, actors. Mm -hmm. Little trivia question. Do you know why uh, the first one was replaced? He was gay? Yes. That might help us for number four then, I guess. Which huh? series ran for more seasons in black and white? Or was it the same? I only remember Bewitched being in black and white. Uh, I Dream of Gina would seem to always be in color. I agree. Deborah was saying okay. that she used to watch it, but it was black and white, but her TV was black and white. And we didn't get color TV till, uh, till like the late 60s. I mean, they, they existed. We just didn't have one. Okay, <clears throat> question four. Which season... Was Dick York replaced with Dick Sargent? Mm. I have no. I didn't even notice the difference. I didn't either. But I didn't watch it. That five. Five. Hmm? I'm just. That's a uh, rough estimate. How many seasons do you think there were? Eight, nine, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Still, well, five, five's good then. Huh? It's actually still running. <laughs> oh, okay. Not a Nick at Night or one of those. Okay, which series did Screen Gems, an American film producer and dis distribution studio, produce Bewitched? Janine. Janine. <laughs> Janine or both? I don't know the answer to this one. Well, I thought that one was Bewitched, but I don't really know why I thought that. I don't think it's both because I seem to recall from the ages ago that I read the Wikipedia pages that one of the shows was um, made be um, basically to compete with the other one or something. Right, yes. Um, uh -huh. <clears throat> totally. Okay. Okay. Um, I would just guess Bewitched just because that one's the first one that's listed in the question. So no particular reason. <laughs> well, that's what I wrote down again for no particular okay. reason. Okay, <laughs> what network were these on? There was only like three networks, right? ABC and that, NBC? That was it. CBS. CBS. So Which one? Was CBS? ABC. Well, no, I'm saying there's ABC, NBC, and CBS are the three networks. Yeah. 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 Well, I have so no idea. Which network was bewitched on? What was their first? What's his, isn't CBS the oldest network? I it, uh, don't know. I thought it was ABC, but American Broadcasting. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. So I'm, I'm trying, I'm remembering that the one that, that it was, the middle letter was a B. Okay. I know <laughs> we had. He's so clever, you all. I remember watching TV a lot when, when we were little kids, and I, I just remember the peacock would be, you know, because the, they always had that symbol and it would go, you know? Yep, that's NBC. 
That's NBC, yeah. But I don't know if it was with these shows. I just remember seeing it a lot. Okay, so pick something. Who would know? I don't. I don't have a clue. Well, James. Mm -mm, not a clue. If you ask more questions about Elizabeth Montgomery, I'd be your go-to guy. Hmm. How about we let somebody who has no idea, like Janine, who barely knew that these were TV shows, to <laughs> because I think it would be just that random. Let, her, let Janine pick. Um, for number six? Okay. Six and seven. So number eight, Samantha's Wait, identical cut. We don't want to put Slow that. We don't have to be on a different one. Seven. Yeah, they have to be separate. NBC for six, what for seven? Am I supposed to pick one of three again? Don't we have a dice? Okay, <laughs> so I'm the dice, ABC. Okay, there you go, we got an answer. All right, ABC. So Samantha's evil twin, identical twin, was... Cousin, no. Cousin. I remember this character, but I have no idea what it's her Black name hair. It was, it was Jeannie. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling the name was similar. Yeah, she yeah. had a she had a like a Samantha kind of name like Ag. That no, wasn't Agatha. It was um. Oh. Could it have been Agatha? Maybe. No, that was the uh, aunt or something. Well, oh, that was Endora or something. Yeah, Endora was the great mom. Yeah. Maybe it oh. would be Sandra or something. That's a similar name. Sandra is a good choice. What was it? Sandra. Sandra. Does that work? No, it was it was an oddball name like. Not an oddball, but not a, such a common name. Yeah. Um, At first, I thought it was Glendora, but then they uh, he said that that was the uh, name of the uh, mother. Yeah. Did yeah. it end in an A? Probably. Mantina. Amanda. Agatha. Sabrina. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Samantha. Oh, you know, Sabrina could be good. And there's a TV show called Sabrina's T the Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yeah. That was based yeah, on a comic book. That was a spin-off of that, so I don't think that would be the name. But couldn't it have been her evil twin? And that's like her evil twins, the it's a, and then the mother named the evil the cousin name. or whatever. Mm. And Jeannie had an evil twin sister. I don't think I remember that, but it would probably be a name that was similar to J to uh, Janine. I mean <laughs> Jeannie. I'm looking at the word. Yeah, no, I remember that's, that. That's that really good because I usually get called Jeannie. Oh. <laughs> it's just got an extra N, right? Jeannie. No, you move the I from after the two ends to between the two ends. No, she's got an extra. Oh, oh, I see. They're two ends together. Okay, so. Yeah, the two ends are together. Are, are we almost done, team? No, oh, we're no. Question nine. No. No, we have just a few left to go, but lots of time to figure them out. Yeah, um, I'm going to give like three, three, more. three more minutes about total. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back over these answers here because uh, I see a lot of bewitched on this. Mm -hmm. Question number one. Yeah. I, I think that's good. I think that's the, that's why. I, I think, think you're right. Good. I think you're right about it being the oldest and having the oldest one would obviously be the first, the one in black and white longest. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I bewitched for the good. first three. Yep. Five yeah, for number for five. four. Uh, bewitched one, two, for number three, five. five. Huh? One, two, three, yeah. and five. Okay. Mm -hmm. ABC for six. No, NBC oh, for I, six. NBC but for if, six. And ABC but if anybody seven. knows better, those right? were a one out of three guess. Yeah. <laughs> I pulled it out of the sky. <laughs> I see that there's a, um, I think there's a B in there somewhere and also a C. Possibly. He's so clever. Um, psychic powers. Do you see an S? <laughs> Do you see an S? And the last one, I don't know. That's that's very cloudy in my head. <laughs> the actor, actress, and genie. Well, what did we get for eight? Yeah, we don't have eight, nine, or ten. I thought we had eight. Was 
Sabrina. I want to say like oh, Ellen's here. Sabrina, Selena, Serena, something like that. Selena. Serena. Um. Sabrina. Sabrina. Let's. Sabrina is better than nothing. Yeah. It's yeah. It sounds familiar. But it's probably because of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yeah. Tabitha was her daughter. Right. And then we need nine. Nine and the, ten. the evil twins. The name of the evil twin sister. Virginie. Virginie. I don't know that one. Figure to the group that Isabella's in is out already. How about Jenny yeah. number nine? Okay. Well, that's Isabella. Sorry. The role of Samantha's mother. Uh, Jane. Hmm. Actress and Jeannie yeah, was born exactly. with the family. Which actor, actress was born and Jeannie was born with the family name Moorhead? So, which one? Mark knows this one. I got it. Okay. Jeannie, how about Jeannie for number um, nine? You can't use your phone. Jeannie and Jane. Jane. Hey, I have a really quick question. I need to answer really quick. The name Jane. Jane. Susan, Susan, by your own rules, you can't do this. He's in the other Jane. room. Oh, he's in the other room. Okay. Yeah. Agnes Jane? Moorhead. What was the other actor who was Moorhead? The other actress that was actor Moorhead. or actress that's last name was Moorhead. I don't. I can't think of anybody. There's only one. Agnes. Okay, we have nine. No, but the last name is Moorhead. No, I know. I, I okay. just can't think of anybody. All right. Thanks. James, how about Carol. you? No, I didn't call. I just kept from running across the house to ask him, and he didn't know the answer. Good category, Rob. I think we're going to have a lot of scattered scores on this one. Uh, from what I saw, I'm predicting you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, the odds were one in three on a lot of the questions. That is true. That's why I tried to be easy on it that way. But OK, ready, ready, ready. Cool. I didn't know you'd be showing up. Who's that? Alan's here. Alan. Hello, Alan. Yeah. Oh, hello, Alan. What team Paula's is Alan on? Here. Hi, Paula. What, what team is Alan on? Oh, well, I, I guess we'll find, <laughs> we'll find out. Right. I'm only one? here. I'm going to be here for maybe a round or two. So we just finished the concert. Why, so. why does James keep going and coming? What's going on with James? Is that something wrong with his, his uh, connection or something? I okay. Mean, he's he's so, in Sacramento. It should be good. Want, want to hear the answers? Yes. So for question number one, which series had the earliest starting year? It was, in fact, Bewitched by one year, 1964. Oh, I'm surprised it was only one year. Yep. Uh, and I think what happened was it had, was such a success during the off period, they, other networks said, oh, we have to make something with magic in it. Uh, that which never happens. Never happens. And then, and then they ran it, you know, counter programming. So you had, you know, no VCRs. You can only watch one or the other. It was really freaking annoying. So you had to wait for the the, the summer rerun season to watch the other one. And and then it was so. Then they did that with Star Trek and Lost in Space. It was so annoying. You've been carrying this grudge a long. Oh, time. I have. I freaking have. <laughs> Just let it all out, Rob. What about, I'm I'm glad we're what about the monsters this. and the Adams family? Yeah. <laughs> oh. What, well, what that's series? That's Gary and Flicka. Yeah, probably. I don't know about that. How one. did you watch these live, Rob? You said you watched them live. No, I said you watched one, you picked one, and then you watched the other one in the summer rerun series when they oh, played them. Oh, you said you watched them at the time they were, you know, Yes. And they right. played when he was a Rob's kid. Rob's like 105 years old. Yeah. You, I, you better, get... I better study up on Monsters versus Adam's family. Yeah, I could get two <laughs> I think we all better start on that. Question wow. number two. Now, all I have to do is hit record and boom, it's there in my DVR. <laughs> Question Rob number two. Which, he goes back in time and rewatches the stuff that he missed. Which series ran for more seasons? And this one's not even close. Bewitched did it eight and Genie only five. Yeah, that's so. Uh, which series ran for more series and black seasons in black and white? Again, it's Bewitched. The first three answers were all Bewitched. Yay, we got it. <laughs> and that was only by one year. Bewitched ran for two, the first two, and Genie ran for its first. We got three points, guys. And by the way, they were a little late in switching from, I heard someone in some room said they all switched at the same time. It wasn't quite. These two series took a little longer because to do the special effects in color were very expensive. Hmm. Gilligan's Island also started out black and white. I forget what year that started. Pilot for Hogan's Heroes was in black and white. I thought they were all black and white. 
Yeah, I know. That's interesting. Maybe you just had a black and white TV growing up. Say, yeah. and no, yeah. Black and white TV. <laughs> Nobody told you. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> You're all, my dad thought if we had a color TV, it'd just get stolen. Somebody break it. You did have a color TV. I've watched on it. We did, but that I mean, was, a black and white TV. Yeah, we had a black and white TV. In which season of Bewitched was Dick York replaced? with Dick Sargent. And did anyone notice? It, oh, it was, did anyone notice? Is that an answer? <laughs> I didn't notice. It was sixth season. Uh, six. six. Oh. Anybody get that? Anybody? Oh. I did. Yes. Yeah. Uh, James got fifth. That was close. Thank you, Carl, for all our correct answers so far. <laughs> yeah, Carl's really good at this. Oh, gee. Well, Pretty I, 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 I don't know why Rob pick this but i was just this week reading about dick sergeant dick york trying to figure out why one was replaced and what's the answer on that uh health problems. Very bad health problems yeah. york yeah james says it's because york he's gay that's i would have known too. that i thought uh, york was just a jerk no <laughs> maybe you should uh, check your computer for a rob virus he's been listening <laughs> in on it now, the, the time when an actor actress was replaced because they were a jerk was Kirsty Alley and the Star Trek movie series. I'll never yeah. forgive her for that. Yeah. <laughs> She's yeah. a her right. She got sucked up by, by uh, Scientology. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number five. Which series did Screen Gems, an American film production and distribution studio, produce? And it was, in fact, both. Uh, uh, uh. Which it's so now? weird they produced both, though, because they're mm -hmm. competing. Mm -hmm. so, which network was bewitched on one out of three choices here because yes there were only three back then abc oh. and which network was genie on and i kept hearing cbs for some strange reason and no it wasn't nbc uh, we get half a point because we had them backwards <laughs> hey, it could have been cbc <laughs> cbc uh, abc the australian broadcasting corporation mm. What was All right. Six Did again? anybody yeah. remember Samantha's identical cousin? Is it Serena? Yes, it is. Oh, oh I yes. so close. What else did you say? Sabrina. Mm. Oh, we didn't oh think. that's uh, really uh, so close. close. Uh, yeah, oddly, the oddly, the, the, their parents were going to name her Sabrina, and they changed their mind. So, yes, yeah, <laughs> what, what did we? Um, what did we choose? I we ended up with Sabrina. I think I whispered Serena. Serena, but we were all whispering words at the same time. So I think it was Serena. Okay. Was, okay. I thought Question was, number nine. I'll bet you nobody got this one. Was it just Jeannie? Oh my God, you're a genius. <laughs> because <laughs> why, why Carl? Why Carl? Do you know why? Because she's a genie. Because all female genies are named Jeannie. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're just genies. <laughs> so silly. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> that was the explanation. It's really hard to get their reason. attention as kids, but <laughs> it's like harder than George Foreman's kids. Hey, Jeannie, stop attention. hitting Jeannie. Hey, George, George, George. Wait, did Jeannie? So how did you tell them apart? Was one with black, black hair? hair? Black hair. But they misspelled it. It's always a black hair. They make them. With the he kept one. trying to. She kept trying to chick Major Healy anyway. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, and finally, the most difficult one I would gather because I never heard this until I was in, in, in researching this. The role of Samantha's mother and Dorandy, which was played, as everyone knows, by Agnes Moorhead. What actor or actress in Genie was born with the family name Moorhead, spelled slightly differently? It was, in fact, Barbara Eden. She was born oh Barbara God. Jean Moorhead. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. I'll get the gold star. I, I was more help than I thought it would be. What remember. was number six again? I was less help. ABC. The network six was ABC. ABC. Okay. Oh, we got one right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, at least Rob didn't say this was going to be easy. No, I didn't. On purpose. Thank you, Rob. That was that was good. Now I'm going to have to go watch some of these old series again because they do, you know. I actually no watched the first episode of both of them. Uh, not because of this. It's just I started thinking about it and I had to go watch them and they both suck. I'm just saying. Oh, <laughs> they don't hold up. It was they a different time. Rob. But Jeannie was particularly bad. When your only choices were ABC, NBC, and CBS, you had to put up with whatever you got. At least true. they were pretty, right? It, it helped for me that I was in grade school when I watched them in reruns. I was in grade school also when they were reruns, and I thought they were great. They were you know, like, great. 
If you were seven, eight, it was pretty yeah. good. Okay, so let's get our scores and see how we all did. Uh -huh. so, mask or no mask, mm -hmm. that is a question, which was a group that uh, Rob was in. How well did Rob's group do? Three. <laughs> the first three? Sorry, Rob. Yeah, the first three. The ones you- Aha, uh -huh, Rob. You should apologize to you. I got yeah. those. So we're, I, I, that was my help for the night. Sorry, you guys, yep. the rest of you guys. The unknown unknowns. Also three. The Delta Quadrant. Eight. Oh. Ooh. That had Bob, Aaron, Isabella, and Mike Wolf. Isabella came up with a lot of the answers. She was good. She knows her she knows her television. That's for sure. Free Britney, not Cosby. Nine. Oh. Oh. Carl. That's Ben, Gail, Carl, Wilma, and Alan. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, all Alan. He that's showed a up in like 40 seconds. He rattled them all. Yeah, I was just going to say, Alan was our ringer. He came in at the last minute and gave us all the answers. I was thinking that if, like, if only my dad was here. Was, Did like, you really know these, those. Alan? Well, I said they were all good. Good answers. Yeah. Okay. He, he, he had, had like 40 we seconds to read them all. So he's just like, <laughs> they're all good. The Bob Loblogs log blog. Four. Ooh, uh -huh. man, what a spread. There should be quite a divide here. Yeah. So three, three, eight, nine, and four. <laughs> a lot of room to make up here. Uh, so sorry, team. <laughs> wow. I'll never forgive you, Rob. <laughs> All right. So taking away Rob's permission for um permiscuity here. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you want to take that. <laughs> or if yeah. you do. He's like, what? What? Robin, you guys can keep getting rearranged on the screen where you were earlier is not where you were before. All right, Robin Welsh. Here. Robin the Welsh. Yes. Robin the Welsh. Let me get my... Robin, what is, is your our category name? that you're going to just stun us? Robin, with? is your last name pronounced Welsh or Welch? Welch. C-H. Like okay. the grape juice. Like the grape juice. Yes, unfortunately, not heiress to the grape juice fortune. Oh. Um, I just pasted the answers if you want a copy of the map. Right. Thanks, Rob. That's somebody else's fortune. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. My, my category, I, I have been inspired by oh, Deborah. Yeah. Thank you, Deborah, for my favorite category since we started playing trivia, the last one that you did. Really? What about the human activities. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't remember people. So I'm that, doing right? <laughs> a categories theme. I'm going to give you five words, 10 times, 50 total words. But for each set of five words, you tell me how these words are related. What are these things? It might be objects. It could be, you know, plants or animals or. <laughs> what do you call in this category? Or, huh? What is this category called? The category is called categories. All right, silence will fall in three, two, uh -huh. one. Oh, God. silence is falling on me. Robin, you need to unmute. Done. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go through the words a little bit fast because you're all going to go, what? Let's put them in the cat, put them in the chat. Okay, number one, the five words, oops, are. Hibernian, Galaxy, Cruz Azul, Arsenal, and Rangers. And I will put those in the chat. Oops, no, I have to put. All right, I can't figure out how to put them in the chat. I was. Let's see. How do I put them in the chat? What are you trying to do? I'm trying Tell to me. put my five words in the chat. Where, where are they from? What document are they? So they're, they're cut and paste. They're on my cut. I've, I've pasted or I've copied. Now I need to paste, but I can't figure out where to paste. Paste. 
You have to have the chat open, Robin. Do you have the chat open? Yes. Okay, so go to where it says type message here. I don't see anything that says type message. At the bottom. At the bottom right the below bottom. everyone. Are you are you on a computer or what are you on? PC? Yeah, I'm on a laptop. So right at the right bottom, there should be type message here. Go up to the under the bottom of the screen. At the bottom of the chat. Robin, you might have hit the space bar. Try hitting backspace a few times and see if the word type message here shows up. Now, see, I, I had a, um, hang on a second. Let me see if I can, um, there it is. There they go. go. You got it. Okay. All right. Ah. Got it. Okay. So that's number one. It would help if you put the numbers with it, by the way, for people later to look at them. Okay. Price is averted. Number two. Uh, uh, number two is Euphonia, Tatira, Coquette, Mannequin, and Elenia. Uh, in the chat. Come on. Paste. There we go. Okay. Uh, yes. You just put the number, type in the number first. I did. If you if the number is in your original. When I paste it, I think I pasted it over it accidentally. Sorry. Okay. I'll try to do better. So if I okay. Let's see, there's no way to like go down to the next line. This line, as long as you have the three there, then we'll know the three. Right? Okay. Right there. If you press shift and enter at the same time, it'll it'll add a line break. Okay. Time Traveler, Leviathan, Ghost Rider, Raptor, and El Toro. Next one, Craig Duff, Dunglass, Glenugi, Mortlatch, and Spayburn. Okay. Next one. Harris, Austin, Dallas, Glasscock, and Bexar. Number six. Uh, Isabella. Hi, Isabella. Fire, man, Catalina, and block. Number seven. Seven is... Eight, nine, ten. Falcon, Leaf, Riviera, Viper, and Sable. Next one is Gulfstream, Desalt, Hawker, Cirrus, and Eclipse. Nine. Nine is Pollywog, Dog Watch, Capstan, Scuttlebutt, and Weather Gauge. And number ten, Morgan, Frisian, Quarter, Halflinger, and Icelandic. Paste and and go. So I think the the theme for all of these is they're each five words. Five That's words that all the, So they're each each category is just words. 
Yes. Yeah, so yeah. In other words, what do, what do these words have in common? What what group do they? Sorry, that, that, was a, that was a joke. That was a bad joke. He's trying to be funny, and it, <laughs> okay. it failed. Uh, Robin, I have a question. Yes. <laughs> in number nine, weather gauge is it spelled G A G E? Are you sure? Is oh, I probably I probably misspelled it. It's probably G A U G E. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you for pointing that out. Mama. Is Isabella spelled wrong? Uh, spelled correctly. It's spelled correctly. Okay. If anybody right. else, boom. Let's get your room. Oh, somebody, somebody has made made it easier. <laughs> oh, okay, very good. Thank boom. you. Boom, boom. Just trying to get all pasting in there. Format is also on. Well, euphonia is not uh, a musical instrument. Euphonia. Music That's the euphonium. euphonium. Euphonium, yeah. Oh, euphonium. Ooh, man, I got one over there. Yeah. Shall we go through the ones that we know? Does yeah. anyone know anyone? Any of these? I other? Think, well, the Gulfstream would have to be like Gulfstream is a camper, isn't it? No, it's a, a jet, a prep, one of these uh, Gulfstream jets. We're on number two. Pardon? Oh. And I think number seven, I know, is cars, right? They're all names of cars, models of cars. I know there's a Seems Leaf, right. there's a Viper. And there's a Falcon, and there's a Sable, and there's a Riviera. All oh, are cars. Seven is cars. That makes sense. Six is uh, islands. Islands. Catalina, Except Lock, Fire, Isabel. Isle of Men. But it's two, of Man. two ends, or is it one end? Oh, maybe you're right. One, one, one end. Isle of Men. Yeah, well, it's islands. Um, number three, I believe, is roller coasters. Cool. Oh, oh yeah, El Toro, Raptor. Yeah, that makes sense. Time yeah. Traveler. I've been on two of them. Okay, oh, that's enough. <laughs> then we're sure, yeah, that's a good Pong evidence. Pong, dog watch, scuttlebutt, weather gauge. It seems like I should know that. It sounds very, oh, oh sorry. Maritime number four, stuff. Number yeah. four sounds very Scottish. Yeah. Sorry, I jumped around because I thought that was the one you were on. I think we were just trying to do what we knew. Yeah. Yeah, I think nine is like terms used on ships. I don't know a fancier way of saying that, but I was thinking scuttlebutt is a name of a boat. So I would think boat names. Robin does have a background on I don't think it's boat names so much as boat weather gauge. Terms. Yeah. Isn't the capstan the thing they tie the rope around? You know, things you would things you would find on a boat. You mean no, no. components of a boat? Yeah, boat items. Yeah, let's say boat items. Okay, so what are we missing? The boats. Cruise Azul. Blue Cruise. Oh, that one's soccer teams. Oh yeah, yeah that makes sense. Okay, so what are we missing? I got here a little late. Number two, we're missing. Number four, we're missing. Number five, we're missing. Yeah. Four sounds very Scottish. That's what I was thinking. It's either, yeah, Scotland. I don't Five. know what about Scotland, but I. Crazy. Yeah, it could be Moors or it could be whiskeys. I've never heard of any of these in Scotland. Um, Five is counties in Texas. <laughs> Austin, Dallas, oh, counties or cities? 
counties. Bihar County is okay. the one that stood that gave it away for me. Oh, okay. That's good. So we're missing two. Uh and, and four. four. Did we have ten? And ten. We haven't got ten either. Quarter horse. Morgan, is that a horse? Icelandic. Icelandic? Isn't aren't those More horses? Me. Horse, yes, a, a horse, uh, horse related or something. Breed, a horse breed, Morgan. Sounds good. Yeah, why not? Doug, Doug Dunglass, Glen Leon, Mortlock. It could be mountains or moors or towns or whiskey. Whiskey would I've, make sense for water. I don't think it's whiskeys. Because I've I, never heard of one of these. Not exactly. A, not a I think I would recognize a couple oh, of them. Kyle would know his whiskeys, huh? <laughs> Even the one out of five at least. <laughs> um they don't sound they sound vaguely Scottish, but true. Names you know, given by people pretending to be Scottish. <laughs> Could they be Irish? Yeah. About, yeah, I was wondering, Irish. Yeah, it could be. I've never been to Ireland, but I've been to Scotland a couple times. And none of this rings a bell? No, they just know. vaguely sound like they would be, but they're, you know, I've spent a lot of time staring at maps and nothing looks familiar. I've been to Ireland, but not Scotland. And I don't recognize any of these as places in Ireland, but I also only went to a few cities, so. I cannot be trusted. Th these that. are not Scotland unless they're so obscure that they're. That's, well, but that's my not, opinion. That's just my opinion, man. Yeah. But if it's not a city name, it could be something like more specific than like just cities. It could be could names be. of blank in Scotland. <clears throat> um, places and we're almost we've got i think we only need two more robin it's an outlander <laughs> why not uh number two anything standing out to anybody is coquette is a style of food right yeah it's like an appetizer yeah it's very spanish I thought coquette. Or is that croquette? That's croquette. Coquette oh. is you know, someone is coquettish. It's kind of yeah. uh, playful, uh, sort of flirtatious. Yes. Oh. I never heard that before. Has something to do with a flirt, I would have said. So well, then what about the first one? The origin of that. Euphonia? What is that? Somebody say that. Euphonia. Euphonia. That, oh, sounds like a right. homely woman from the 1700s. <laughs> I think they're all names of women, I think. Could it be like some kind of mythology? That's a good thinking. Yeah, mythological women? It's not Tolkien. No. <laughs> hmm. I'm thinking of something like uh, a character in a movie or something like breakfast at tiffany's or hmm. see all i can think of is like i keep thinking of similar names but i can't i don't know these names from anything it's like number four it feels like it should be familiar but nothing's ringing a bell they definitely two definitely sounds like names now that we're talking about that female names yeah women's names also, I would say like fictional names. These don't strike yeah. me as real names. Mythical? Mythical? Maybe. Yeah. From Greek or Roman? More specific than that. I they don't seem biblical. Not they're biblical. Really no. They're not biblical. They're way out there. They're not moons or anything like that, right? Are they moons? No. I No, because I think there would be more recognizable ones in there if there were moons, and I don't recognize any of them. Could we, I feel like it sounds like maybe Greek mythology somehow, yeah. or like Greek origins. Help. That's I, just, I, I feel like euphonium. 
<clears throat> from, from Greek roots, but that is also me just pulling that out of my ass. So don't trust me on that. I I, I think that that's that's right. I, yeah, I was as good as any answer. Yeah. Well, but I wonder. Oh, I wonder if it's like nymphs or something or sirens from Greek mythology because it's definitely not oh. any of like the goddesses because I would recognize oh. a few of those. That's a good. That's a really good. Um, yeah. I could see that. Sirens, so, because Euphonia so, would be a good name. So Who were the ladies that lived in that place and had the visions because there was a gas leak? Oracles? Yeah, could it be the oracles of wherever? Delphi. Delphi. I, true, but isn't there, I feel like there's one that wouldn't, is it Cassandra that was in Delphi? But everybody would know if you had said Cassandra. So I feel like that one would be in there. Maybe not. Maybe she would have taken that one out so it wouldn't be so obvious. How many were there? <laughs> I Although coquette really does sound like a nymph or something because then like coquettish. But then euphonia is like musical. So I wonder if that's sirens. And then it has that kind of like playful, flirty type thing. How specific do you think? Yeah. We if you say women in Greek mythology, is that too generic? I want. I there wonder some... if you need to be more specific, though, because like there are a lot of women in Greek mythology, and this seems like a very specific set of them. I'm fine with like... sirens. We're sirens. Sirens, it is. Okay, did we get them all? No, four. We are still. We haven't come to. Yeah. Oh, and then. I just for number nine what did we decide on terminology wise because I feel like I would prefer to be more general with that one with like nautical terms rather than like yeah. getting too specific yeah Why nautical term sounds good since Robin is not here who's our recorder this time do we have do we have someone I've been writing things okay, down good. oh do we have eight yeah we said uh, jets right private uh, when they planes. Jet, jet planes. Okay. So number four, it's not Tolkien, would it be? It's some no. obscure Tolkien towns or something. Mortlock is close to Tolkien's style, but no, I don't think that's no. Spyburn. 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 I feel like there was a RPG a few years ago called Spyburn. Dunglass. Places an Outlander. <laughs> sure. I, I have no idea because I've never seen that or played Outlander. No, no clue. Oh, I almost typed Places an Outlander into the chat instead of my sheet. Oh, so you guys both agree? You all agree? That works I'm for me. Outlander is a computer game, right? No, well, a TV I, show I was, slash book. Oh. It's a wild guess, yeah. That's why not. Has Robin seen Outlander? Has anybody ever heard her say anything about it? It wouldn't surprise me to find out she had. She's really into Breaking Bad. So if any of these fit Breaking Bad, that would no, be I, no Breaking Bad here. It's Can I run through the answers that I have written down just to make sure? sure. Yes. Okay. I have soccer teams, sirens, roller coasters, places in Outlander, Texas counties, islands, cars, planes, nautical terms, horse breeds. I think we I think we aced it. Nailed it. I think you guys aced it. And I said, yeah, good job. <laughs> well maybe we broke the Susan curse. Oh uh, yeah. I go. think there was a team that already did that, but okay. Very good. I'm confident with that. Good job guys. Okay. Do we have everybody? Uh, I think so. We do now, I think. Yeah. Okay. Number one. Those are soccer teams. Yay! So is it good enough we said team names? I think that's Ooh. good enough. 
I think that's no, good. No. 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 No, no, because no. No. could easily no. say baseball. Uh, well, yeah, okay. No. Team is. Team is definitely come on. No. No, there's, there's three of them that are uh, notably soccer teams. Yeah, yeah they are notable, notable soccer teams. Hey, you guys, Cruz Azul, so, I, I said what soccer teams, but you guys wouldn't want that. Cruz Azul is Mexico City. Big big soccer fans. Hibernian is uh, Edinburgh. Galaxy is Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ar- Arsenal is London, and Rangers is Glasgow, Scotland. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but in Scotland they have Catholic soccer teams and Protestant soccer teams. Rangers Rangers is a Protestant soccer. Team. Oh my God! I think <laughs> not. This is true. And the Celtic is the Catholic oh, soccer team of ridiculous. Glasgow. Yeah. And riots and riots will start if you mix them up. Yes, exactly. We- we- which one? Would, which one does God support? <laughs> whichever, <laughs> whichever, whichever, one, whichever one you back. Manchester United. Exactly. No, whichever one. My team. Yeah. The New Jersey Devils. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, Euphonia, Tatira, Coquette, Medican, and Alenia. Those are birds. Types of birds. Oh. Hey. Oh. Well, no, hang on. Sopranos are kind of like birds. They they sing. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> sirens. Si- Greek Greek sirens. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. It's coquette. Part Greek. bird, aren't they? Have co- bird? Co- coquettes are uh, hummingbirds. I figured if Leonard was Leonard's not here tonight, Leonard would have gotten this one. Did anybody get this one right? Yes. Yeah, I had. I had, oh, I had two letters right. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I said bras. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I almost put tit and booby on there because those are birds too. You might have gotten oh, that. Then. I would have gotten, yeah, gotten that then. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw, made it too hard. I saw, I saw boobies at the Galapagos. Every day, that's all they were showing us and talking about. <laughs> yeah. My dad used to like to say, I've seen all the tits of the Caribbean and all the mm-hmm. boobies of the, of, no, mm-hmm. all the tits of Europe and all the boobies of the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been waiting to see a bush tit, and I'm so <laughs> disappointed. I haven't found one yet. I bet I could find one in your yard any day of the week. I think okay. Bob could probably show us some cocks. Oh. <laughs> when, he's coming tomorrow. Oh. We're, we're rooster free right now until until tomorrow. If okay, if number work. three. Um, I one team definitely got it. Those are roller coasters. Yeehaw! Hey. Oh, Way to go, Wilma! <laughs> oh, oh, oh right. Wilma got that. Yeah, yep. that good. Kelly says sure? she's been on two of these. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. That's so funny. <laughs> Wait, Wilma finally got something right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Leviathan oh. named after the Bible. It's <laughs> great. Uh, Craig Duff and all those. Uh, those are single malt scotches. Oh my well, God. They are Oh, we were close. We got Scottish towns. Was that yeah, and I, I was very careful to make sure that they did not all correspond with Scottish towns. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> you'd have me on that. <laughs> is, is single malt Couldn't required throw in the Went answer? in there or something? They're, they're or Scottish right? whiskeys. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, so we, we, we can give ourselves that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you said whiskey, that's good. Oh, wait a minute. Then the team names have to be right. <laughs> no, I mean, I think Scotch. I think Scotch, Scotch, said Scotch, Scotch whiskey, would be so. fine, but not just whiskey. Not just whiskey. Correct. So right. Scotch yeah. whiskey. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We have Scotch. Gosh. Thing. It's a thing. Does it matter whether we spelled whiskey with a Y or an E? But I didn't. I don't know how to spell it. I spelled it with an E. You're wrong. I thought oh, 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 yeah, 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 but we're not counting that because the person who wrote it down wasn't aware. Irish whiskey. Wait, how do you spell whiskey? It's it's not got in the United I, States, it's E Y. No, Irish in, whiskey in has the E. Scotland, it has no E in there. W I S K Y? Yes. Yeah. Yep. That's how yeah. they spell it. In, in, uh, in Poland, it's just an I at the end. Yeah. Whiskey. No. Whiskey. Whiskey. More whiskey, please. Uh, okay, the Harris, Austin, Dallas, Glasgow, those are counties in Texas. Yay! Oh. Oh. It's, it's pronounced they are not yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. They are like the animal. You can tell I've never been there. <laughs> counties, not towns. Are you counties. sure? Counties. Are you sure there's a Steve with each of those guys' last names? Like a Steve. Now, if, if anybody can. If somebody guessed towns and they can show that it that there's a town, uh, there's a county seat or something, 
that's fine. Obviously, uh, Austin and Dallas are like that, but Harris is Harris County is Houston, so I don't know if there's a town of Harris. And Bayer is San Antonio. Okay. Bayer. I'll okay. remember that now. Uh, Isabella Fireman, Catalina Block Islands. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Falcon. Do they do Falcon Leaf Riviera Viper Sable? Oh. Nope, okay. that's the next one. I didn't do that one. No, Gulf Stream. You, you did that. I, no, no, you haven't. You, you haven't told the us the answer to it yet. Oh, okay. Seven. Uh, those are cars. Yep. Yay. Yep. Types of cars. And the next one, number eight, is types of airplanes. Airplanes or airplane manufacturers? Airplane manufacturers. Okay. Yay. But so it'd be like make and model. It's the make of, of airplane. So um, again, we wrote airplanes. That's not good enough. I think that's fine. Type of an airplane? Is everyone yeah, going to go blue That's fine. You can say my Ford, my yeah. my Chevy, my Gulfstream. We're going to go hop in the Gulfstream and yeah. go people live in Paris. I say that every day. There, there, there's yeah. a small, small, small number of people who get to say that. Mm -hmm. You can say it. It just wouldn't be true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it every day this week just so that I can say that I, I'm going to hop into the Gulfstream. Okay, so uh, polywog dogwatts, blah, 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 naval terms, <coughs> nautical terms. Maritime. Maritime is fine. A polywog, I heard people, that was the stumper. Polywog okay. is somebody who has not crossed the equator in a boat. And oh, that's ah. right. you start a, as a polywog, I've done this. And when you cross the equator, you become a shellback. Ooh, I'm, yep. I'm a shellback. Yeah. I am also a shellback. I only crossed uh, it in a plane. I only crossed it in a ship. That, that's the Mile High Club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Morgan Friesian Quarter Halflinger Icelandic Horses. What kinds of horses. Yay, I think we did really good on this one. I think mm -hmm. most people did really good. Okay, so let's start with... You're not Free psychic, Brit Susan. No, Free Britney, not Cosby. What you got? Oh, uh, nine, nine, right? Yep. Nine. Nine. Uh, the Delta Quadrant? I think we have six. Six, six yeah. Unknown unknowns? Eight. That was Robin's team. Mask or no mask? That is the question. Five. Bob Labar. Labar. Bob, Bob. 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 Ten. Yeah. Whoa. Woo. We had somebody who knew each one. But nobody knew them all. Oh, that's well, fun. that's great. That's what a team Very teamwork. For. Teamwork. Yep. OK, I'm showing the score. So whoever's going to take a picture of that. Wow, well, my team wow. so badly. Wow. In the middle. <laughs> my team really only got five. Really? <laughs> It's oh, the your curse. Team, Robin, oh. your team is oh, unknown or unknown. Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. I was thinking that. No, sorry. Oh, I'm yes, we got eight. Oh, good. A team. Okay, so it wasn't that bad. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's take a group picture. Isabella and James. Um, I guess I could take it today because I'm here. Where's James? Or is he on another screen? There he is. Okay. Paula, are you going to show anything? Big? No. <laughs> Okay, everybody look at the camera. Give it a nice smile. I will take it. Okay, let's see. Because we have a shortage of people. So we are not a full screen today. Is it because of Canada Day? Oh, Canada. That's not how it goes. Oh, that's why Adrian's not here. Canada, my home and me. Canada, I love you. Did you take some of that? I like Adrian. Well, Canada, the pipes, the pipes are calling. No. <laughs> uh, Susan, can I stop smiling yet? Yeah. Well, it's Canada over all of it. Was that smiling or wincing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I was laughing and I couldn't spell. <laughs> I 
can't. What am I talking about? I can never spell. All right. So we're going to take a five minute break. I'm going to get going now. Good night, everybody. We lost Avi. Good night, Avi. Good night, Avi. Good night, Avi. Good night. All right. Five minutes, y'all. Take the take take Dallas out, Peggy. Five minutes. You have a real annoying commercial for Block Island. That is the most random thing I've ever heard in my life. That has brought me so much joy. I love that. What's that? That song that was just playing. <laughs> <laughs> that was written for Canadian Confederation. The I Act. like it. It's very <laughs> random, but it brought me happiness. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> uh, who just left? Did, did I just lose my son? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, maybe I'll give him a call. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> call him in about an hour. Hmm? <laughs> is, is, is Avi in Canada? For some reason I thought he's in Canada. No? no. no he's, 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 he's. By the way, I just posted on Facebook our, the group picture. So if you want to go in and tag yourself, you get a minute. Well, we have to manually tag ourselves. You're not going to do it for us. Wow. This is how I get the islands, the block islands. What is this? Come <laughs> sail away with us to the beauty of Block Island. Board one of our high-speed or traditional oh ferries God. in Newport or Fleet Judith, and then step off the boat to one of the most beautiful spots in all New England. Wow. Yep. I have no words. Yep. Was that like from the nineties? No, it's current. It's a current commercial they play on. That on the looks radio. like something that looks super cheesy. It's it's really not as bad, but the commercial is cheesy. Rhode Island still hasn't gotten out of the nineties. <laughs> it's, it's um, it's a commercial Fair they play on happened. a Rhode Island network, and it's a <laughs> sail away to the Block Island ferry. It just goes on and on. Where is the Block Island? Right off the coast of Rhode Island. So Nick, Rhode Nick. Island has islands off of it? No, yeah, Rhode Island is not really an island. It's called Rhode oh, Island and the Plantations or something, the official name. Oh. But it's it borders Connecticut and Massachusetts. It's like in the oh. armpit of Massachusetts. And the off, armpit. Yeah, that's what, that's what we call it. I live right near the border, like the next town over. I live in Attleboro, Mass. The next town over is oh, okay. Nantucket, where the, where the uh, old Red Sox used to play. Anyway, oh, okay. uh, we have Nantucket and we have Martha's Vineyard off the coast of Mass and the small island. Okay, yeah. Where's the island that's got the ponies? That's Chincoteague. Yeah. Chinc or Assateague. Assateague. Chincoteague? Yeah, Chincoteague. They made a whole movie about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, when I was a little girl, I read this book called Misty of Chincoteague. Yeah. yeah. I bet Deborah read that. There's an I island somewhere that's, that's infested with rabbits. Oh. Huh. It's, it's infested with rabbits. Of, it's in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rabbits everywhere. Oh my island, goodness! Island somewhere. I forgot yeah. where it is. They have no people predators. like walking down the street, and you see like a hundred rabbits walking across the street at oh. once. Oh my well, goodness! They still do it with the, the, the chinkatee. That sounds kind of scary. They used to <laughs> swim the ponies across to the mainland periodically because they were too many, and the, and plus people wanted them, so they'd. Well, they swim them across from Assateague to Chincoteague, and then they sell them on Chincoteague. Oh, there you go. Well, that's nice.
Is this also a commercial for Rhode Island? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alan's probably in there in the back of the green shirt, I bet. Oh, there's a, that you in the back? Alan, is that you in the green shirt? These are kids. Well, that's great. It keeps getting out. That's a lot of kids. All right. You're on mute, back. Alan. Oh, You're sure. on mute. Were you able to hear that at all? Yeah. We heard that. We couldn't out. hear you, yeah, though. We were able to hear it just yeah. fine. Because um, uh, so we played, but we had to play because of, we have all these protocols. We have about half as many kids as normal. We got all these pro, uh, the protocols. So we, we still have to wear masks when we're inside the in, rehearsing in the barn where we normally would have played our concerts. But the concert we had to play outside. And it, okay. was, it got windy. And by the time mm. the uh, the concert was over, I, I was freezing to death. It got, it, I'm surprised it didn't snow. I mean, we've been through absolutely everything. And then it's going to be like, um, it's going to be up around 90 on Saturday for when we play a 4th of July concert. Where but is it's it? great. But at least we get to play. We got all these kids out there. And um, out of, I think there's, I think there's like, I think there's, we have 32 kids or so, 32 students. And, uh, I, all but th uh, three have been vaccinated, um, and Where I think the that? three, and I think the other, the ones that have not been, uh, one has, one sh has had one shot, and the other ones have medical reasons for not, for not doing it. So it's been great. So we've been able to, we've been able to do a lot of stuff that we could not have done if the kids had not been vaccinated, because the whole faculty and all the staff have been vaccinated. So it's that's uh, cool. That's you know, fantastic. Where is that? Yeah, it, this is uh, where I don't know if you how well you know it's up in Wisconsin. That's where all the camps are. It's up okay. in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So if you if you if you look at Wisconsin, it looks like a baseball uh, a baseball mitt. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, up here is uh, we're up in this peninsula up here, like Green Bay. Where this is Green Bay, okay. and uh, we're north of you know, north of uh, Milwaukee and stuff. North of um, we're about an hour and a half north of Green Bay. I it's real nice. A real nice spot. up there one time we, ah. with my family. We went all the way to Rhinelander. Oh, well, that's a different way. That's that's going up almost to the Upper Peninsula. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. Uh, that, uh, all the, they got all these uh, the camp, summer camps. But we're one of the like I've got a kid who came all the way from Virginia, uh, which surprised me because we don't usually get kids from that far away. But there are no there are almost no other uh, camps that are performing uh, this summer. How there's did you still, with the mosquitoes? What's that? How did you deal with all the mosquitoes? We don't have quite as much as they do up there. And I think they, they've managed to spray. And besides, it was so cold tonight. I think the mosquitoes oh, all froze. Yeah. They all froze to death anyway. So. <laughs> okay, so we're back. Um, I wanted to just let you know again that I'm recording this. If you didn't already realize that we had a few people. We have a very small group today, 24 people is small we're normally averaging about 30 uh, but i guess people are on vacation or whatever leonard's not here he might stop by uh, romero and faith aren't going to be here i think maybe even not next week uh, adrian might stop by later jamie's not here um Karen, Where's richard? He richard he's supposed to be in lockdown there in sydney yeah i don't know what's going on richard you know because it's the day for him and friday during the day i don't know he's usually busy with something He's hit or miss Michelle Franklin, same thing. We haven't heard from her either. But anyway, so here we are. Let's do some announcements. Um, Kyle, why don't you go first? Or Hamilton has something to say. <laughs> I Maybe Yoshi been. has something to say too. <laughs> no, Yoshi's gone to bed. Uh, but I was like, Yoshi wow, did your voice change? Yoshi has <laughs> early evenings, doesn't he? Yeah, most birds do. They tend to go down when the sun goes down. But anyway, this week on Data Skeptic, I talked to a researcher who's studying algae blooms at Florida's Gulf Coast and how to predict those over time. Apparently, if you go to the beach in the Gulf Coast of Florida, you can hit this uh, noxious uh, respiratory situation. And am I muted? Oh, no. Um, oh, I can hear you. And yeah, it's like it can be very detrimental and hard to breathe. So they're helping. Uh, they can't fix this problem exactly, but helping at least predict when it's going to happen. That's this week on Data Skeptic. Very good. Hmm. Um, 
Peggy had a really good suggestion. I think we're going to try this. I'd like everybody to send me a baby picture of yourself, not of just some random oh, baby. Damn it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, Peggy's not here right at the moment, is she? And then oh, we'll try to hand? guess who they hand. are. I see her hand there. Um, and then we'll try to guess who they are. Yeah. So I want everybody to send me a photograph. Try not to make it an infant picture because that is just way too hard. Yeah. So what's, what's the age age requirement? I don't know. Under three, I guess. Somewhere under three? three? One to three. Do you under want to three? email? Do you want to Extending it to 18 you? so I can do You want to see baby oh. butt? How do, no. you, how do you send it? <laughs> Just send it to me by email, susangerbeck at yahoo.com, or you can send it to me on Facebook Messenger, which okay. is the easiest so, way. I'm going to take the I pictures you, and I'm going to change I, I, them. Hmm? I mean, you want me to send your friend request? Is that? Yes, of course you should be my friend. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so what would be nice also is, uh, you know, don't make it so hard because I've done these in the past, uh, put these kinds of things together and trust me, they're freaking ridiculously hard. So well, the younger you get, uh, that's why that I, I, I think that's way too young. I mean, you'll never get anybody at that age. Oh, I don't know. Bet maybe like kindergarten, a first grade photo. Okay, yeah. about, I think that would be more reasonable. Yeah. Okay. I'll five give you about twenty to choose from. Five ish. Uh, send me what you can. I'm going to maybe alter it into black and white. So yeah, it's that all, is all, it's already black and white. Black yeah, and mine's white. Black yeah, and so white those too. that are already mine's black, black and, white, and white, you don't have to worry about. So that'll that'll make it a little more even. So I think it'd be fun. Otherwise, it'll be easy to guess me. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll uh, I won't send the one where I'm dressed in my female cousin's clothes. That would probably oh, not be good. okay. And I won't send any of Halloween with the plastic mask. No, and no and any of the younger people here, you know, don't send the one where your parents pose you with a cell phone in your hand because that'll be a giveaway. What? <laughs> what, are, what are you going to do with Rob's where it was obviously chiseled into stone by a pterodactyl? <laughs> I'll change it to black and white. I have my ways of manipulating the photos, so so I think it'll be fun. Uh, we're going to do it's that. Rich burner. <laughs> we're going to do, I'll do something with it. Uh, let's see if we do it more than once because, you know, obviously we have so many people on this call and then we'll see uh, if we have, I don't know. I'll, let's see what you guys send me and I will work with what you give me. You could do uh, multiple choice. Um, I will probably just say the pictures are people who are here in this room right now. Ha <laughs> Kelly's already won. Send me one. <laughs> Kelly's on it. Let's see. So I will obviously have to run that. Oh my gosh. I, I would be best if it's nothing young. in the photograph that reveals the date. Like, like I should not have a pterodactyl no, you know, on my well, shoulder. Yeah, it depends. So something that doesn't look dated necessarily. Good luck with that. Well, yeah. no, it could be just a picture. Yeah. Oh, Janine's got one. Well, it says it's sending. Anyway, so that's what I'm looking for. Oh, Janine, yeah. So under five, I don't want to make any more comments now because- I'm Susan, what about this? I just sent it to you. I don't know how you people are doing this so fast. I don't have anything <laughs> before when digital cameras were around that's on that's digitized. I I think that it's going to be in a shoebox somewhere as a negative or something. I did. Took a picture of a childhood picture. Very good, Isabella. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to give any hint. Does Hamilton like it? Ask Hamilton. He's already on the floor now. I can't reach him. Okay, so that's what I want to do. Hopefully for next week, I will alter the pictures. Uh oh, what has Bob got? I'm afraid. Oh. My yeah, mom would be, and her, her that would be cool because yeah, we can't even see what you look like in that. Yeah, no, I, it's and I'm real young. I'm not even one yet. But so. see how he's got photos ready. I am I, adamant that you got to keep your photos ready. Here comes Peggy's. I just went to my parents' like Facebook account. Oh, that's photos. adorable. Did you get mine? Uh, are you sending it by Facebook or are you sending it by, <laughs> uh, by email? Okay, well, everything I've gotten so far has been by Facebook. It was easier to do. Whatever. I will send it by messenger. I'll, I'll send Here a selection you can choose from. That would be fine. That would be fun. I mean, it's obvious you're going to kind of tell who the girls are and who the boys are because the pictures I'm seeing here are obviously girls. So maybe if we get enough, we'll just do girls. Here's Deborah's. 
You're making this gender binary, Susan. <laughs> no way! That's you? We're statute of limitations. <laughs> That's how it was back then. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I want to okay. stop it so badly, but I can't. Okay. I just I just sent you one. I'll make it tough for you. Find me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's easy. I knew that kid. I could find you in a heartbeat right there. Well, that's that's a way to get around it because there's girls and boys in that photo. Okay, I don't see you. But then I'm just barely oh there you are. Okay. All right, so that's something I want to do hopefully for next week, or maybe we'll do it over a couple of weeks. So let's see how, how hard it is to do. Don't do I'm it next week. I'm not going to be here next week, Susan. Do it the week after. <laughs> um, the other thing, I made a note. Unless you want to pay for my mobile data, then I can do it in the car. <laughs> so, uh, Caspian, you have to send me one. Do not wait for me to send it because if I have to pick one, <laughs> no. it will be embarrassing because trust me there are there he's got all he's got all his pictures i know he's got them he's like trying to think of what to say he's like off mute on mute they're off all mute. embarrassing <laughs> no they're not i made a note here something talk rod talk he i don't know what i made this note for to tell you guys but whatever also, um, if you're in the Monterey area, if you're here local to me, we're thinking of going to see a baseball game tomorrow in, uh, in Monterey. It's the Amber Jacks. And I need to know if you want to go right away because I need to decide if we're going to go. If, you know, if I want to say, hey, everybody, let's go. So if you're within the sound of my voice and you are able On to go to Monterey day? tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's a work day. Well, you can't come up here for it anyway. It's just a little ten dollar game. It wouldn't be anything oh, that you. Oh, oh, it's a little more than ten dollars. Well, it can be a little bit more because they ask for donations, and and then you oh, got to get great. food out of the thing. And if you're gonna go, take a whole bunch of one dollar bills and some five dollar bills, and and that doesn't. They're not telling you what you want. Corey's, Corey's, I invited Corey, but he's balking. He's balking. Well, will you go, Robin? That's a baseball uh, term. <laughs> that's true mark doesn't want to go so i'll think about arlen it. wants to go Did what time is it six o'clock oh but baseball games you can run a little late tell me if you hear about a cricket game i'll come <laughs> <laughs> caspian you want to go i'm deciding oh i might run and swim and then double back to the game <laughs> who else is here within the sound of my voice oh here's mike just sent me some good ones all right I'm working and I'll probably be exhausted afterwards. Otherwise I'd go. Oh, of course you'll go. Um, that sounds fun. Peggy can go. I got, I got to be an if. It depends on how tomorrow goes. Cause sometimes I just need to go home and sit on the couch and suck my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It doesn't happen, Jane. They depend on how many crazy people come in tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Jane, are hey, you Jane? So Susan, how do you, I don't know how to send the damn picture. Um, I, I'm doing it for my phone. Oh. I mean, if I send it, I wanted to send it to Facebook, but I only have it to do it like on your news feed. No, no, no. Send it to Facebook Messenger. Yeah, well, it doesn't, I, I can't find somewhere to do it. Different well, do you have the app on your phone? I have a Facebook. Open the picture. And if you, you go have the up messenger to the app corner. On phone. What's that? Oh, well, I've got yeah. the picture. Do you have um, the messenger app uh, on your phone? Well, hang on a second. Uh, what is this? Um, it's a little squiggly thing at the top. No, no, no. Right. I, I realize that. Here, hang on. So I'm going to go back and do it again here. Oh, are I you, got you, something. Let me see here. I'm, okay, I'm on your round, okay. Alan. I'm on. Hang on. I'm on your the suit. I'm on your your website. Okay, <laughs> or your your Facebook site. So I go to Messenger. <clears throat> Right. And then I want, and then I click on the, the picture thing, right? You the go in, picture. well, you know, you go yeah, into the, the chat square with Susan. that's got like a mountain and a little sun on it. Yeah. So I pressed on that. Okay. But the trouble is it's, it's the, it's not giving me, it, it doesn't give me all, all those pictures. It gives me a bunch of pictures, but I doesn't, it doesn't give me the picture. doesn't go far enough back to give me the picture. Well, I, I need. I just had somewhere. Did you? 
So instead of clicking on the picture button, click on the camera. And then in the bottom left, you have the options to choose from your pictures. And then it let me go to like my favorites. Yeah, that's a good way of doing it too. It's a oh, reference. are you smart? No wonder you're who you are. Okay. <laughs> no wonder who you are. <laughs> oh, okay. But hang on. Does it, but let me see if how far. Is it, unfortunately, I don't I know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, Kelly. You meant it in the nicest way. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at yeah, Isabella. But, Isabella. Isn't but see, it doesn't. It, it only limits. It's only a limited. It Bob goes. It's getting it's my gallery, and my gallery doesn't have all my pictures. They're, they're over in the Google thing. So you could you could email oh. it. Okay. Or, so also in that case, you might want to go to your Google Photos and save it to your phone. And then how, how, how about just emailing it later? Yeah. yeah. We'll be fine. Let's <laughs> move on. Rob's upset yeah. because all he has is the one in the basket and he's showing. Right, I don't know if I have your email address. So that's the thing. <laughs> it's okay. Susan Gerbic at yahoo.com or gmail.com. I have both. All right. So I think is there anything else that we need to know? I'm probably gonna go see Janine on Monday, Tuesday-ish. And <laughs> if I should be back by Thursday. That's my plan. Janine, those are both good. I'll take a look. All right. Here we go. So our our is what the pirate said. Where's Robin in here? I gotta take your permissions away from her. Mike, why do you guys keep mixing up? It's just not fair. <laughs> Mike, you are up next. Where is Mike? Well, there he is up in the corner. And he's got a green screen behind him. I don't know if that's important. It's a, it's a map of uh, Calgary, Alberta. Uh oh. Oh no, it's not favorite restaurants in Calgary, Alberta. <laughs> oh no, please no. Last week, best restaurant. Oh my God. Where's Adrian? Only if Adrian's here. Well, see if Adrian's here, she would have an edge. Oh, no. He is serious, I hope, right? That is the topic for this week. Restaurants in uh, Calgary, Alberta. Audio is cutting in and out, Mike. Um, let, me, let me switch my uh, my audio setting. Is it okay? Is that better? Oh, oh way better. better. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great. Um, all right. So this is uh, what did I put? Uh, this category is about the top uh, 10 restaurants from this article dated June 13, 2021 from vacationidea.com of the 17 perfect restaurants in Calgary, You're Canada. Kidding me. You are kidding, right? I am not. That's a counting. Two, one. Mike, you'll have to unmute. How are we going to know perfect restaurants in Calgary, Canada? Are you doing this because Adrian's not here? I No, I'm doing it because Adrian said she was going to do it last week, and she didn't. So I thought, uh, and, you know. I think she was joking, Mike. <laughs> All righty. The restaurant number 10 from that list is the Gaga Pizzeria at 1236 12 Avenue Southwest. I'm not going to give you the phone. To get a taste of Italy and Calgary, check out the pies at Gaga Pizzeria is how it's described in this article. Some people like pineapple on their pizza. What game item was created by kids who drank pineapple orange guava juice? <laughs> oh my God, this is gonna be insane. Oh, sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> Wait, everyone... All right, the number nine, of these restaurants was the Minus Brazilian Steakhouse. I'm going to put the address and phone number in the chat. <laughs> Minus Brazilian Steakhouse serves authentic Southeast Brazilian cuisine and specializes in Brazilian open barbecue known as Rodizio. According to urban legend, Brazil is home to some bad people who fled Germany at the end of World War II, possibly some members of the Geheim Staatspolizei. What is that group better known as? Guys, we should all order food from these restaurants and have it sent to Adrian's house. <laughs> we at have the once, phone number. At once. <laughs> okay. Number eight is Una Pizza and Wine, not to be confused with Pizzeria Uno, popular here in the States. 
Una Pizza and Wine is a popular restaurant that specializes in California-inspired thin crust pizzas and Mediterranean-influenced cuisine. The Italians were on the same side as the Germans in the as from the minus Brazilian steakhouse in the last question in World War II. If any of them had been captured by the Russians, they might have been sent to the Glavnoye Ubrofine. It's I can't pronounce this Idia Truda Langrev which is also called what? And you're gonna to have to read this one in the chat as well because I totally mangled that pronunciation. But it's a long Russian name of a thing that is better known as the answer to that question. Excellent. Number seven is the OE. Mike, Mike yes, I have a question. You're counting down from 10? So is I'm counting down, so these the are in reverse question. order, but. Is number 10 the first question or should we put it as the 10th question? The, no, the. The 10th question is the first question, but okay, so I will read questions. the answers in the same order that I'm first reading. First shall be last and last shall be first. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. Number seven is the OEB Breakfast Company. OEB Breakfast Company is one of Calgary's most popular breakfast spots, and all of their eats are naturally and locally sourced. If they ran out of butter for their pans, what product of Arthur Meyerhoff might they use? Six is the Charcut Roast House. Charcut is a chic restaurant that serves farm fresh urban rustic cuisine with Italian and country fresh accents, all made from locally sourced ingredients. With those two languages, its website might need a completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and humans apart. What would you call that? All right, five is the Clay Oven. Clay Oven is an East Indian restaurant that serves classic Punjabi cuisine in a cozy, casual setting. What South Asian country was comprised of Punjab, Afghan province, Kashmir, Sindh, and Baluchistan regions? Were you sponsored for these questions? <laughs> he will be. Very good. <laughs> Okay. Four, the Calcutta really Cricket Club. Be with Club. Number nine. The Calcutta Cricket Club is one of Calgary's best spots for high quality Indian fare. Originally opened in 2017 by local artist Maya Gohill. If a fan at a cricket match got unruly, the security officers might shoot him with Thomas Swift's electric rifle, also known as what? <laughs> oh my goodness. And number three, the Ship and Anchor Pub. Ship and Anchor Pub is one of Calgary's most popular and diverse watering holes, and they have something for everyone. Toward the end of World War II, ships might have been used to send packages from the Cooperative for American Remittances to Europe. What were these packages commonly called? Number two, market. The award-winning market restaurant serves dishes made from fresh, sustainable, locally sourced ingredients, including some from their own internal home garden. Because they like to use local ingredients, they might use Canada oil with low acids, known as what? And finally, the number one, I don't know if these are actually in order in this article, but the first one in the article is Open Range. Open Range is a relaxed Southwest style steak and cow chop house serving Alberta raised beef, lamb, and game. If you were driving around the desert in the Southwest, you might drive a high mobility, multi purpose wheeled vehicle. What would your army buddies call it? I'll eat the edge off of this one. And that's the 10 questions based on the best restaurants in Calgary. Very clever. Alberta, Canada. Very, very clever. Of Canada Mike. Day. There's, there's the map of Calgary behind me. Well and done, Mike. Very clever. Well done. That's what we have for those. Uh, Adrian's going to be so disappointed. Adrian is going to regret the day that she decided to skip trivia. She's doing a book event or something. I don't know what she's doing. She's I told her I was going to do this topic uh, this week. She didn't probably think you were- Last week it. I said, you didn't uh, you do the best restaurants in Calgary. I'm stealing that idea. That's great. <laughs> Julie, the picture is adorable, by the way. 
Very good. All right, you guys, we all got our work assignments ahead of us. Let's head, make like a baby and head out. All right. Kyle, do you... I have uh, do I have uh, yeah, leadership? You should have. Okay. Kyle, 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 Kyle. Yeah, I got bounced out. You got to replace me. Okay. Unknown unknowns. There you go. There we are. Thank you. I didn't realize my camera was off. I was like busy talking to myself. <laughs> you, I bet you have wonderful conversations about that. All I right. don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you and your baby. Your okay, baby. Let's do, you, do you like do you like baby Isabella? <laughs> you look like a doll. <laughs> Doesn't even look real. All right. So I always do really easy questions. Yeah. Because I don't want my team to fall behind when I. <laughs> okay, you guys. We appreciate it. You can, you can move around, around, right, Mike? What? You Do you have any around. questions about these? No. They all have one specific answer. <laughs> okay. Easy. All right. So the, the first one, as I said, is Pogs. Number 10. One, number 10. Okay. Number nine, what was the name? What was the group better known as? The the Geheim Stas Polisi? Is that Stasi? Is that a name? It sounds like a name from World War II. I don't remember for sure. Okay, our corner of religion. Brazil is home to the bad people who fled. Oh, they're it was they went to Argentina, right? Yeah. So they were known as the, um, what's this got to do with the question of the food? Of it has nothing to do with the food. Most of these questions have nothing to do with the food. He named the restaurant and then like this restaurant specializes in Brazilian food. My question is these people from Germany at the end of World War II ran to Brazil. So it has nothing, none of these questions relate to the restaurants he's naming. They relate to some subject. There is they, a God. <laughs> they, they vaguely connect to the restaurant in various ways. Like the first one was a pizzeria with pineapple on your pizza. Well, what do these kids who drank pineapple orange guava juice come up with? What was the answer? Pogs. P-O-G-S. P-O-G-S. Pogs. It's a game that I've heard of it. Yeah, it's a game that kids my, my son used to play. Cardboard discs. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, that. Okay. So now the Burn. second one is um, if somebody said it, I'd know it. It was uh, right. Huh? The stars. No, it was, it was a play on. Okay, let me think. Oh, let's come back to that one. Yeah. So the next one. The question the is, the if any of them had been captured by the Russians, they might have been sent to, and it's a big, long Russian name that none of us can say. Although the initials start with G-U-F, is that L or is that I? That's an I. Is it an L or is it an I? L. G-U-L. La Gria. Yeah. Which is also called what? I don't know. The Italians were on the same side as the Germans. If any of them had been captured by the Russians, didn't the Russians send everybody to Siberia? Gulag? gulag it could, yeah. I feel like Gulag makes the most gulag sense. Makes, gulag makes more sense. Isn't hey, Gulag Susan. food also? Susan, you got a question. Yeah, yeah, I see, G the Gulag's a food yeah. too. Yeah, because the is. last three words are start with G, U, and log. True. Okay, so number seven. 
Okay. Usually we'll there's a theme running through Mike's stuff. So yeah. So if we so if we say gulag for which one is this? This is number six. The third, it's uh, the third, eight. third eight. question, number eight. Let me. Okay, number seven. Is that like Crisco or something? It's a substitute for butter. I was wondering, was Arthur Meyerhoff the inventor of Pam? Pam, maybe. Yeah. Pam spray. Butter for the yeah, pans. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Pam. Yeah. Do we want to try Pam? Yeah. There's going to be a okay. theme here somewhere. I haven't found it yet. Gulag Pam. Once we probably read them backwards or something, it'll make sense. She grabs it. Hello, Bobby. What's your puppy's name? It's his buddy. Buddy. Hey, buddy. My mom's going to give him a bath because he smells. <laughs> and you're like, and number six. I'm like kissing him. <laughs> Has Italian and French connotations with those two languages. Its website might need to a completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and humans apart. What would we call? Oh, um, CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA? CAPTCHA, get it? CAPTCHA? C-A-P-T-C-H-A. CAPTCHA, those little... The little I'm not a robot clicks that yeah. you put on your on your things, those are yeah. called captures. Well, you got a, this, Aaron. That's what a completely automated public touring test for computers and humans apart. Capture. Yeah, completely automated. Yeah. Public. Oh, yeah, no yeah. C A P. Yeah, there it is. Yep. Completely what? automated. Okay. okay. Yeah, you got it. Captcha. Puja. Clay oven. What's up? Again. Kashmar. Why? South Asian yeah. country? South Asian country comprised of Punjab, Afghan province, Kashmir, Sindh, and. Is that India? Is it. Well, Pakistan? Kashmir is like in between India and. <laughs> buddy, what are you trying to say, buddy? What's the answer, my buddy? Dad just, my dad just got home from Alameda. Well, San Francisco. Is it Nepal? So. Sorry. <laughs> Is it Nepal? My dad. Nepal? And I, I don't have any guess on that. Nepal. Nepal. Go with Nepal for now. South Asian country. South Asian. Thomas Smith's electric. Right. What's it got to do with the cricket match? Nothing. But if, Afghanistan? but if a fan at the cricket match got unruly, the security officers would use a taser on him. Tom Swift's electric rifle. Tom Thomas Swift was actually Thomas A. Swift was his name. The Thomas A. Swift electric rifle is the taser. And that is okay. actually that is actually how they named the taser from this um, sci fi. Okay. Book. Oh, yeah. awesome. Okay, there you go. So, number three. Oh, um, those are care packages. Yes. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Europe. Okay, yeah. Number two. Yeah, it's... That's canola oil. Uh, I'm getting a theme here. Pack. Yeah, number two yeah, is Kanal. I wonder if that's Pakistan, Punjab, Afghan, Kashmir, P A K. Don't are you seeing a theme with all yeah. the oils and yeah. buttery yeah. stuff that he's look at pa Putin, Putin, Pakistan. Pakistan. Go I've got a theme, so there's something P A K and then and then left. <laughs> a stan. And then the last word ends in a stand. So there's Pakistan. You're driving around the desert. Number five. You see it? Okay. Am I muted? I can never tell. So care package. Even I like your fan. Oh, thank you. I got it in Hong Kong. Ooh, I, I want to go live in Hong Kong. Actually. What, are, what, number, what number do we have left? We've got number one. 
It's not nice. It's number one, the Humvee. If you're driving on the desert with south, west. Um, okay. Really All right. Um, number two would be canola oil. Right. Uh, can o lo l a. Yep. K canola. It's yeah. rapeseed. It's they wanted it. It was it's made from rapes. It's called rape oil seed or rape seed. What? So for marketing, they wanted to come up with something more, you know, How about wasn't so rape, didn't sound so rapey. So they, canola, okay. yeah. Okay. What was that Good way to put it? Was it a Humvee or what was it that people were driving around right when the gas prices were going? Yeah, that's, that's the Humvee. The Humvee was the military vehicle. Um, the non-military version they called the Hummer. Yeah. Okay, because because oh. doesn't this all have something to do with the oils? What are the answers so far? We've got we've well, got they're all spelled out. See, they're, they're, the answer is spelled out in the in the clue. So high mobility yeah. HM vehicle. Oh. High HMV. Hum, yeah, it would be high mobility vehicle. You, you're right. Uh, it's uh, the answers are all in the question. Yeah, they're, they're the yeah the the pieces are. Okay, so let's go back to 10 since we've got that figured out. So 10 was... 10 is pogs, pineapple, orange, guava juice. Okay, yep. I remember those. Number nine. Do we have nine? We're, we're yes. not... What did... Number nine was stout. Because you got the star... I the, did say that, the, but I don't the know. Last words, the last word starts with sta and ends in z. Sta z is my guess. You don't think it's a GS? Just that simply, it doesn't sound familiar though. But you every talking. answer when you said, oh yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, possibly some so. members of the. Gestapo. It's the Gestapo. G E F C. Gestapo. There it is. Yeah. G E F C A P O. Gestapo. Ah, I guess I was overthinking it. Gestapo. Yeah. It's okay. The okay. Italians were on the same side. So we said that is the gulag. Last, uh, gulag. The number eight we said was gulag. Seven we said. Yeah, the last three. Um, Pam. G U Log. Can we say yeah. Pam? We, we said Pam. They're pans, uh, uh, product of Arthur Meyerhoff. P, P for product. Oh, product. Martha, Arthur. Yep, there you go. Oh, Pam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one was CAPTCHA. Yep. And that's that's the completely yep. automated yep. public Turing. And they kind of combined all the T's. Turing tests to tell computers and humans apart. He's just so clever. Capture. Okay, number five. He did say this is all easy. <laughs> Once you figure out there's some system. Yep. Okay, number five. Number five is Pakistan. Pakistan, Pakistan yeah. Pakistan, uh, yeah. Four. We got you, Mike. What? Four is, four is the taser. Uh huh. Three was. Care, care package. C A R E. Cooperative American Remittances to. Europe, yep. Two, Two is canola. Yeah. And Humvee. Canada oil with yeah. low acid. And one is the Humvee. We got it. Yep. So Mike didn't didn't screw his I, team. I think we might get a 10. <laughs> I told you, Mike, things are all super easy. Okay, so are we ready to bring people back? I think most of the groups are ready. I've been Poking around. Poking around. Isabella is going to be so mad. Susan, I messaged you on Facebook. Wait, where did Isabella run off to? She just left the room. What's the earliest picture you have of yourself, Mona? See, the catch was we we left rather suddenly and left all my all the pictures behind. Oh, okay. And. Uh, then they were some whatever we brought was lost in some, in some place got flooded. Then, so as a result, that's very uh, the earliest pictures is in my teens. Oh. 
so it's useless. But also, uh, give me a picture a, of one of your kids. You could yeah. just Google like pictures and find a kid that looks like kind of close <laughs> to what you look like at that yeah. age. It could be one of your kids, and I won't know the difference. Just no, I'm going to have to do that because, like, the earliest picture I have of me readily available is high school, which should be kind of easy. Um, Bob, you send me a message. Did you say you sent it to me through Facebook? Because I'm not seeing anything. That, I thought that was you. There's only, well, I have a cousin named Susan Gerbeck, but I don't. Oh my God, you do? She must get like all nasty letters I, from. I can from imagine what her life is like. Wow. The oh, picture of me that. right now is a baby. Here, let me put my Facebook page right here on chat so you can see. Um, the chat, that's how you know it's me. And Wilma, are you still having a problem with the texting? Yeah, I can't. I can't send messengers. I wanted to send a message to Alan to say thank you for sharing that thing, and I can't. I can only send messages to you and Robin and Kelly and whoever's the co-host. That's all I'm seeing too is the host and co-host. No one else. No, you can't. Wait, which everyone, which huh? thing? Which thing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, that's that's different tonight. They're all like that. Yep. Yep. I can get to anybody. Well, you're the administrator. You're of course you're like well, I can get to anybody. I can send yeah, messages to anybody. I can only well, do, do you have administrative power, works. Susan? Okay. Hold on. Let me yeah. see if I have the power to fix it. Okay. I have I'll let Kelly fix it. <laughs> I got it. Um, okay. I just sent everyone. my Facebook page. All right. Bob. You fixed it. Ooh, Very good. It's all there now. Yeah. Okay. So, Bob. Oh, if you oh there we that, go. Thank you. Me. Anyways, my message was for Alan. Thank you for sharing that, Alan. Which? What did, what did I share? Oh, Which the one? the little the, with the orchestra and the kids. Oh I yes. Know. Oh, you're very well. Yes. What's you. the name of the music camp? It's the Birch Creek. Oh, you just muted yourself. <laughs> how do people muted. do that? I don't understand how people do that when they're in the middle of talk. Birch, the Birch Creek Music, uh, Birch Creek Music Performance Center in uh, yeah. Egg Harbor, Egg Wisconsin. Harbor. Oh, nice. Okay, so Mike, very clever, as usual. Mm. They're figure outable. So muted. Yep. I got the wrong one. Uh, everyone, everyone, oh, he's, gonna <laughs> he's gonna be like, I'm sure it happens to her all the time. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm gonna send you a friend request. Okay, that's even better. And then I will message you. Um Susan, I think I just sent you uh, 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 a Gmail, but I'm not sure, an email. <laughs> I sent you something if I got it right. Alrighty. So. No, apparently I didn't. What's your email address? <laughs> it's my first and last name at yahoo.com. Yahoo. All or right. gmail.com. No. They're well, probably. I tried that. That didn't work. I'll try the Yahoo. There's no space or anything right. in there. What do you mean it didn't work? Did you get a bounce back saying there's no such address? Uh, yeah. Well, you typed something wrong then. Misspelled yeah, that. I did. I put two ends. Yeah, you do it. <laughs> yeah. Addresses are picky that way. They want to be. Yes, I don't know. I don't yeah. understand that. Okay. Okay. So, Mike. Mike. Okay. Here's your answers. Number ten is Pogs. Those yeah. the, the those little circular discs. They used to stick them in the top to hold the top on the pineapple orange guava juice. Nine is the Gestapo. Eight is the gulag. Seven, the product of Arthur Meyerhoff is Pam Spray. Oh, oh you guys didn't get the oh. clue either. The, uh, I have some of that right in my kitchen. Six is a capture. Wait, where, where, where's, the, where's the clue in that for Pam? The product of Arthur, Arthur Meyerhoff. Arthur Meyerhoff. P. Arthur Meyerhoff. P. A. M. Pam. In case anyone hasn't what? sort of figured out, these are all Pro acronyms. There's no P, just Arthur Meyerhoff. Product, product, product. Product of Arthur Meyerhoff. Oh, yeah, that's a clue. I okay. did not capitalize the P. When did he get to Pakistan? <laughs> Five is Pakistan. Oh, uh, darn. P A. All in there. Punjab, Afghan, Kashmir. Wait, what was six? Six was... Uh, Captcha? Captcha. Okay. Captcha. Like those things with the... Yeah, yeah, okay. Click on the street lights. <laughs> I hate um, that. I hate it. Apparently, I'm a robot. Thomas A. Swift's electric rifle is the taser. Oh. Uh, here, here. 
American you're excluded, and, and, you're excluded and include the A. What? B you're Thomas, C H O M A S. I did not include the A. I should have. That was Thomas has an A in it, though. All the letters. Okay. Most of these, not all of these, not all these acronyms are exact acronyms. Okay. Oh, wait, is that true? Is that what TASER stands for, Thomas? Yes, that is where that name came from. I had never heard of that. Um, two, uh, Canada oil with low acids is canola oil. Yes. Hey. And uh, the high mobility, we, high, it's a Humvee. Yes. So POGS, Gestapo, Gulag, PAM, CAPTCHA, Pakistan, TASER, CARE mm -hmm. CANOLA, Humvee, all acronyms of some sort or another. Those are good. That's really good. There you go. It was a very oh, fun category. Fun. You're putting them in the chat again, right? So I can spell um, them correctly. What was, what was the country? I missed that one. Pakistan. Pakistan. Oh, Gail. You're, wait, you're wait so that's friend. not an acronym, is it? Yeah, yeah. blood is yeah. a they're not, they don't. They take a couple of letters from each word, but yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. job, yeah. Afghan. Seriously? They made a country name out of an acronym? Mm-hmm. No. The, it's just there in his description. Like USA. <laughs> oh, that's not our name. <laughs> Going backwards there. I don't think that's the, I don't another, think that's the etymology of Pakistan, is it? No. It, it also it has like the word means there's like it means something else also, but it was one of those things where it just happened like, to work out. I'm just trying to get if you were making a joke. She said all the answers were acronyms. Uh, so Pakistan well, really is not. Well, they were close. They're like modified, you know. Okay. All the letters are within the description of the question. Okay. Acronymish. Yeah. <laughs> so, so let's do scores. Bob, I got your message, but I didn't get a picture. So my cousin well, has I'm the picture. It now. Okay, uh, just as long as it's eventually going to call. Oh, your cousin has the picture. Phone, your yeah. cousin has the But I don't know this cousin. She's never spoken to me. <laughs> and now she never will. She's never going to speak to you. I'm sure they're very good Catholic people and you'll, like you'll, 10 kids and you'll, you'll get them and then you decide whether she'll be offended or not you'll, i'll send okay. you the same ones i sent her yes paul i got it okay I, I said i said i did you just weren't listening no you said you were getting something from me i got something first okay. i had to figure out who it was in the picture i'll have to crop it okay so let's go with the delta quadrant which was mike's group 10 10 there you go that's how it's done, people. So we'll stop right there because that was real. <laughs> take take Bob, a picture. Bob Lobar Lard's Law Blog. <laughs> 10. All right. And mask or no mask? That is the question. Eight. Whoa. Unknown unknowns. Seven, I think. And Seven. free Britney, not Crosby. Holding steady at nine. <laughs> wow, nine, nine, nine. What does that mean? Okay, here we go. With German the... for no, no, no. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> All right, so make really sure mean. you see your scores here. Uh, 15, we have to. 18, 24, 27, and 24. So free Britney, not Cosby's in the lead. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Take a picture. Everybody got a good look? Yes? Okay, good. Still tied, tied for second. Fantastic. So we have the last before the end of the thing. And we are next with Gail, who always has some kind of clever thing. So we make Gail her little co-host. So I should let you guys know the next week, I have Kelly, Ben, and Rob, and no bonus, and no and no fourth category. So think about that. Let's let Gail do her magic. Susan, hey Susan, yeah? I I think I can do it. I I wanted to. I, I'm on my laptop now. I started out on my phone. Now I figured out how to use my laptop, and I had an idea for a category, and I had a few questions. So it may be a total disaster, but I'm willing to try. You wouldn't be the first. So what we okay. could do, Bob, which works really well for people, is somebody who's not going to be on next week. 
Have you already written your category? Bob? I have a couple more to do. I'm, I'm kicking it around. Okay, so. I get excited not, and I start, I start something and then I. So Isabella's not gonna be here next week. Who else is not gonna be here next week? Well, the Alan's not gonna be here. Better. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, if they wanna look over your, your questions and make sure that you got within, it, if I'm you're on the right track, track then, then that would be good. So Alan or Isabella, could one of you guys reach out to, to Bob? Sure. Uh, he is on Facebook. He's Robert A N Q H E N A T. Send a direct message or whatever, so you guys can be in contact. And yeah. please just look it over, so you won't be totally embarrassed. <laughs> I still need a bonus for next week. Oh, Peggy's got a July fifteenth. I take back what I said before. I had one digital photo of me before like high school and there it is. <laughs> and it's, now I'm showing you it because it's definitely younger than we just agreed to. But I also have to take back that if you had pictures, you wouldn't be able to tell us apart. And certainly if Isabella's and mine were there, I'm pretty sure you could tell who is it. And you don't look any different at all, Rob. <laughs> so why didn't you just show the picture, the only picture you would have had? Well, because we said now it's older than that. So that doesn't count. That's like, I think I was two or so there. So you do have something that's older. No, I'm saying this was the only one in my computer records. I just did a quick search of my photos okay, that says well, Rob's baby pictures. And that's only because my sister is obsessed with photos and she published this on Facebook and I copied it. Okay, so, <laughs> so you may have to start. I got to get, get my sister to get me a, a picture about five or six. Okay, there you go. All right, so Gail, are you all set to go? I've stalled. You're on mute, Gail. She doesn't Not, mute you them. can't hear her. <laughs> or, or your hardware muted. You might be muted. Like your mic isn't picking you up. We're not getting any audio. She might be talking very quiet. Perfect timing. I don't even see Gail. No, it's it, like there. her she mic's not there. pinging at all. Oh, she's not on my first screen. Oh. No, there's only one yeah, screen. She, she's not. No, I have two screens. I've got her. I've got her uh, and she's. I she's see not, her, but I can't I've hear got her. She's not Zoom muted, but we're not hearing her. Yeah. You're broken. And not muted, but your microphone not, is defective. Your microphone is but not. It was active. working earlier. She's been talking. She yeah, was fine and the round and discussing. She laughed and then she came back in. We're just talking yeah. about. I don't her. know if she can hear us. Gail's talking. Yeah, she can but. hear us. Maybe this is a clue. It's the first oh, wait, question. No, she's <laughs> silent <laughs> movies is the category. Mm. Charlie Chaplin. Gail, you have Charlie Chaplin. Movies? No answer. I know. Oh, good job, Robert. Thank you. Gail, oh, you're going to have to reset duplicate. your mic. You're, we're not hearing a word you're saying. I don't think she knows that yet. She can, one, Gail, not hear. if you understand yeah. us. See, I don't think she hears us. Okay, Gail. Well, no, because she would have something in the oh, No, no, she's nodding. But she keeps talking, which is weird. Yeah, it's like... Why well, talk to the cat? <laughs> Gail, you, to reset, to, <laughs> do you have an external mic? If you have an, you're gonna to have to un unplug it and re unplug it if you have that, like a. Why did I start reading what's on forward? Like the worst timing. Because she's been hearing us the whole time. Well, yeah, her. yeah, I know. But she yeah, just left and came back in, right? Talking. Yeah. So maybe all else fails, Gail, leave then come right. Oh, she's gonna she's got headphones now. Yeah, but that's not the, the microphone. Headphones part. aren't going to help the mic. Yeah, but maybe there's, a, there's microphone. a microphone in the. Well, we, we, we yeah, would still heard be, something. It would have been kind of low. Like if if yeah, you can hear us now. But if you have a mic in your headphones, you still have to change it manually on Zoom for yeah. it to switch yeah. the mic that it's using. Because that was weird it because automatically switch. Kevin, yeah. in that picture, which one are you? Neither. Neither. Somebody uh, tell. I don't know if she can hear us. Yeah, I said it on your I put it to her in the chat. Nobody can hear, her, but no, nobody can, can hear, hear her. her. She can. I hear don't her. know that she can hear us. I'm not. She can her. hear us. She's been nodding. Put one finger up if you can hear us, Gail. Flip okay. them off. Okay. So right. I, I would recommend you, you quit driving. Zoom and come back in. Yes, I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat, seeing how this is all work out. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be silent movies. Yeah, I think that's likely. <laughs> it's just, be really ironic if she's building it up. <laughs> Very good acting she was doing. No, too. famous mimes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that's even better. Lip reading. <laughs> so muscle, and that's the only one I know. Oh, yeah. There aren't ten Teller. <laughs> Teller from Penn and Teller. His mm -hmm. Tellerisms. <laughs> Connecting to audio. Connecting to audio. Oh, yes. Microphone. There's a microphone symbol. Yay. Talk. No. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> Still can't hear you, Gail. You're killing me. No. Why? Maybe just you got a cell phone that you could call in with as and use that, or just just put it in the chat and we'll just deal with it. <laughs> yeah, that's possible. Yeah, just put all the questions. Topic is yeah. silent movies. That helps. Nice. Just change. <gasps> What'd you do? I can hear you. Yep. All right. Go now. now. What'd you do? What happened? What'd you do? I changed to the other microphone. I changed from the headset to the. The computer Gail, Gail, okay. we were saying when you left that the category is famous mimes. <laughs> that would have been a good idea. I'm sorry it wasn't. I could have uh, <laughs> famous mimes, silent movies, and censorship. Okay. <laughs> or lip reading. Someone's going to come up with a backup category that's famous mimes just in case. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, interestingly, um, I did not, what I started to say before when you didn't hear me was I did not talk to Mike and I didn't work something with Mike and his Canadian ones, I was going to apologize because my topic is early American history, given that this is the weekend of the 4th of July. And I was going to apologize to all the Canadians because this is going to be a totally American topic. But after Calgary, I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and, on, and, on, and on Canada Day. Mm -hmm. On Canada yeah. Day, right? Calgary, Calgary. The Calgary connection didn't help this Canadian at all. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, most of these questions are either true and false or multiple choice. There are two exceptions. So hopefully you're going to do really well. We'll see. The first question, these what, are all... What, what, hold on, it? let me mute everybody. What is the category? Early American history. Early America. Ooh, Founding in America. Muting in three, two, one. Uh, Gail, sorry, you'll have to unmute. Okay, here we go. The first question is a multiple choice. There were 13 original states after the American Revolution. The Articles of Confederation adopted in 1781 was ineffective as the major governing document for the new nation. Which of the following was not included in those articles? A. Congress had the right to enforce federal laws and raise taxes as needed to repay the Revolutionary War debts. B, there was a unicameral Congress with each state having one vote and there were no other branches of the federal government. C, Congress was given jurisdiction over foreign relations and the authority to make treaties and alliances. Or D, amending the articles required agreement by all 13 states. Gail, you're on mute. It muted itself. Okay. True or false? Remember, as last time, if it's if it is if it's true or false, it will not be about something trivial. It will be about something substantive. Okay. All right. True or false? When the Constitutional Convention met. It was given the task of amending the existing Articles of Confederation, but instead the delegates secretly decided to write a whole new document. Okay. Question three. What was the only state that, this is one of the ones where you have to provide an answer. What was the only state that refused to send a representative to that constitutional convention and did not ratify it when it was adopted on September 17, 1787. This state actually did ratify it on May 29, 1790, under pressure from other states that threatened to tax its 
exports as though it were a foreign country. Right. Question four is also a multiple choice. Which of the following was an issue during the Constitutional Convention regarding slavery? A, several Southern states refused to join the Union if slavery was outlawed. B, the international slave trade would be banned, but not until 1808. C, delegates from states with many slaves argued that they should be counted as persons to determine congressional re representation, but as property if taxes were to be levied based on population. Delegates from the states with few states argued the opposite. Or C, all of the above are true. Question five. After the Constitutional Convention, three authors wrote 85 articles that were published as pamphlets designed to win over the American public to acceptance of the new Constitution. They used the pseudonym Publius. Collectively, this book is now called The Federalist Papers. Name any of the actual men who were authors. There were three authors. You can get credit if you can name any one of them. Bonus points for all three. And they told me we don't allow bonus points, or I would do it to you. No, I was joking. <laughs> okay. Question six True or false? The story of Paul Revere's ride comes from a poem by Longfellow. In reality, Three men made the ride and they never shouted, the British are coming. Okay, question seven, true or false? Benjamin Franklin wrote a letter to his daughter that the bald eagle, which he thought was a bird of male bad moral character depicted on the original design for the Great Seal looks more like a turkey, which he called a much more respectable bird and a true Native of America. But he never suggested that the turkey be made the national bird. Okay. Question eight. Another true and false. The Declaration of Independence was signed by all of the delegates when it was ratified on July 4th, 1776. Okay, question nine, another true or false. The language spoken by the earliest settlers in what would become the United States was not English, it was Spanish. And finally, number 10, another true and false, true or false, George Washington owned slaves and tried to force the return of one slave who escaped, but his will contained a provision that when his wife died, all of his slaves would be freed. Okay, any questions? Yes, I have a question. Okay. Um, copying one, but okay. my OCD is going crazy by you duplicating the numbers, by the way. I don't know why that was happening, but- um, I, I did that because I had used the, the, okay. the okay. other uh, numbering system and I thought they didn't copy, so. Okay, so so the language spoken by the early settlers and what would become the United States was so what would become the United States when it became the first thirteen colonies, or the first the colonies became the states, or at all the United States initially the when the when the first colonies were established, it clearly was English when the thirteen states became the United States, but it was not the original language. The earliest colonies spoke Spanish, not English. That's what you're saying, huh? That's what I'm saying. Of the original 13, something in the original 13. 
No, I'm saying something in the original colonies in North America, in what eventually became the United States. Well, I don't understand why you said no to that, because there were 13 colonies. Yes, but I'm not saying the 13 colonies. What I'm saying is, if you look at three, the 13 colonies, there were other settlements in the land that we now call the United States. Okay, that's then what I was getting at. Became the 50 states. Okay. So were the earliest ones Spanish speaking, Thank not you. English speaking. Clearly the 13 colonies were English speaking. The question is, were there Spanish speaking colonies earlier that did not become the United States until later? Yep, that's what I thought. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. All right, everybody, let's go to our rooms, play nice. You don't have to wear a mask because I think almost all of us are vaccinated here. Gail goes to free breathing. Susan, Susan, I'm wait, are you gone? You're there, I'm just waiting around. Where do I get an email or a Gmail? You should get some kind of email. I don't know, it should, there should be an easier way to send me the picture. I've tried and it kept saying it wouldn't do it. Uh, so I sent it to myself and it worked fine. So I don't know, I'll, I'll figure something no, out. No, no, do, do this. Once Mono leaves, share your screen. I'll just take a screenshot of it. What's that? When, once Mono's gone, go to your room, Mono. Mono, <laughs> I think he's frozen. There I go. Show your screen. I'll take a screenshot of it right now. Uh, oh, if I can find it, let me let me hang on one second. Then give me give me a second here. Sure. Um, I don't know the answer. Let me let me go and, and go go to my if I can find my. It may take a second here. They're they're not they're not going to miss me anyway here. So uh, uh, you and I both are in that team. So uh, oh. We both get a better get over there right now. Oh, right now yeah. it's uh, yeah, because I have I'm on I'm, I'm gonna be cutting <laughs> I'm gonna be cutting out of here in a couple of minutes. So um sorry, this is uh we'll figure it out. It'll, once you share your screen, it'll just take me a second. Okay, I sent it to me. So I oh, wait, wait, here comes Gail. Don't share it right now. No, it's okay because it's uh is, is Gail coming? She's right here, right in front of us. Yeah. I okay, Gail, go away. I, I, I'd be happy to go away, but first I need to get to other rooms. I can't seem to be able to. Okay, there you go. It must have it must have ended whenever we jumped you out. You jumped out and back in. Oh, okay. We're oh breakout rooms. Okay. Oh, good. Thank you. I'll be in the breakout room in a minute. Alan's just trying to share his picture with me. Okay, let me see if this works. Come on. Uh, and I, I sent a note to Avi that to, uh, to that he needs to do that. How's that? I don't see anything yet. Oh, I have to share it, don't I? Uh, shoot, okay, hang on a second. So let me go back to here. Um, we'll have to have extend, we'll need to have extended time here. Um, uh, well, I'll be no okay, share. Yeah. Oh, just adorable. Yeah, really adorable. Okay. Okay, unshare. I got okay, it. Okay, thank okay, you. Somebody comes in here okay. right now. Let's That's adorable. Share. Okay, let's go entertain the troops here. Okay, get over there. I'll be right there. I'm just saving this. Okay, got it? Okay, I'm going to your room right now. Good. <laughs> Not that it would be a lot of help, but here we go. Oh, oh all of the above. The yeah, they're all true. Yeah, For they're all, those things are all true. Yeah. The only one I know is 10. Okay, Susan, do you want to take a look at question number three? <laughs> The guess was North Carolina, the only state that did not ratify. I'm pretty sure that's correct. They refused to send a representative. We had this on a trivia question 
oh god six months ago or something like that i don't it I was not who i thought it was which yeah i, I think thought it's north it was carolina. georgia yeah okay I don't remember so we need north one carolina. of the one of the authors of the federalist papers which i was just uh, john adams, was, one of the authors of the federalist papers was john adams um John Adams, one of the uh, the guys. Was it Hamilton? I don't know. Could be. Maybe. Burlington. Okay, so collect your Federalist Papers. If Federalist Papers were written by um, uh, uh, Jefferson and uh, Adams, and I had a class on constitutional history. No, I don't remember it though. No. Jefferson didn't write Federalist Papers. Oh, come on. Hamilton and... Why do you um, think Jefferson didn't? Because Jefferson wasn't a Federalist. Absolutely. Hamilton was a Federalist. Say Hamilton then, because I don't want to get well, into that's this. That's one where we overlap the, on. Our, that's what we should do. And did we only had Paul Revere actually right? say the British are coming? No, no he did not. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I figured that one was going to be a big false because they all viewed them. They, they all thought they were British. They weren't non British. Americans considered themselves British. Ben Franklin wrote a letter. Da, 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 da. So I've always, I've always heard that that he wanted that to be the uh, turkey to be it, but I don't know whether that was I don't, yeah. or not. Right. I, I, I don't think, think seven so. is true. It seems like I saw this question somewhere else too, and I think it's. He I think never seven suggested the answer is would be true. true. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't think that. I mean. But he might have said something eight about definitely the false. people. Eight so you're right. No, there's people hand. that signed. Yeah, I I knew that one. Yeah, they. Some people signed after, right? Yes. Well, yeah, because they, they have to travel such long distances right. and stuff. To, so. Yeah, not everyone was there to sign. Yeah. Now, if you really wanted to be nitpicky, the language spoken by the earliest setters in what eventually became the United States were Native Americans speaking some Native American dialect. <laughs> uh, that's right. right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But they, yeah. But, but they, they didn't have any flags or guns, so they didn't count. Right. Wait a second. No On flag, no country. Eight, that might be true. No, it's not. They were because not, they whenever, were not all signed on one day. When they took that, they did a test signature thing. And John Ham and Ham um, Hancock and all those others, that was done on purpose. They had like a test. Um, you're talking about the thing on the Declaration of Independence, right? It was it was not signed by all of the delegates on July 4. I I thought it was all signed on one day. Because they were all there, and I'm they had done a test, sure on that. and Some there was a the, test. Because I but, saw that there was a paper that I'm they signed sure. it to practice how they were going to put their signatures and where they were placed. And John Hancock's was going to be the biggest, and so they had it. So where they signed it was where it was going to be. So I thought I'd heard that it was all signed on the same day. I don't know if it was July Fourth, but I thought I heard they were all signed on the same day. Now somewhere, somewhere sent in by email. They, they yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they I don't know how to answer nine. They took a picture with their camera and then they, know. you know photoshopped just, it on there. Uh, so I, I don't know. I just I just always got the impression that nothing was done in one day. Well, they were all there, time. weren't if they? If there was any, hmm. if they were there. And they're I delegates. Delegates are sent. Were. Delegates are sent to a place. That's why they're delegates. Now they have this. Isn't there a famous picture of them all together? Now whether that that was just created just for a picture, you know, by the artist or whether I'm just they were a guest actually... in your room, so I can't force anything. So if you guys right. want to say maybe, it. but maybe the word delegates is is the thing we should be focusing on. If well, the, if it was the delegate signing. I don't know if of, it was July 4th, 1776, to be honest with you. It could have been a totally different day. I don't know. Right. That might be a problem too. Oh, somebody needs to be put in the breakout room. Hold on. 
Yeah, I thought oh, I here. Kind of remember well, seeing a story similar to with Carl that, that who's some the people signed after. Well, you know what? I think the guys, they, they, they I, I think they, with like some of these constitutional congresses, uh, guys were coming in at different times and stuff like that. But maybe, maybe, maybe that day they did, they, they did arrange to make sure they were all there. Right. But I don't know. All yeah, I know I is know. that on question 10, it is true. Yes, 10 is true. Ten is true. Are we Paul also saying that nine is true with the Spanish being coming before English? Or are we not? How did she quantify this whenever her and Rob were arguing? What was it? What was the final decision on what he was saying? I was answering somebody else's question somewhere. It was related to whether you know this was the what what became the 13 original colonies or you know something that maybe join the US afterwards, but you know, wasn't part I mean, of the original. She's 13. talking about the earliest, the earliest settlers, even right. before it became really formalized. And I, I don't know if there were like Spanish settlements in Florida prior to the earliest settlement, settlement was in um um because I mean it, it's Roanoke, very possible wasn't it possible that, that is true. Uh, I, like I'm leaning more towards true than I am false. There are also, I mean, there were also French settlers. The The earliest settlement was in Roanoke. Well, if we're including things like Puerto Rico of things that would eventually become part of the United States. Spanish was on the West Coast and they didn't, and, and they didn't, um, have settlements before the, the we shouldn't coast. necessarily constrain ourselves to mainland the united states i was just gonna say gail's here do uh, are we saying that it's continental u.s or is, is that i don't know if she can answer that away? i said the, i said the 50 states oh okay. what we said when i was asked the question and yeah, susan it appears everybody is almost done so oh okay, okay. I'll end it. all right i think we're so almost that, done is we're that stuck on is that yeah, I would think that would be true then. That sounds to me like that's uh, consensus. Yeah, I'm leaning towards true. Anyone have an objection to that? Uh, I would I'm, say I'm, it's not Spanish, but. Or are you thinking it's something other than Spanish? I can't well, imagine why it would be Spanish. But Florida. we've only got two choices, not English or English right. or Spanish, right? So. Yep. And the Vikings didn't come that close. I would say it's English, <laughs> but I'm just a visitor. <laughs> you guys are in the lead, so it doesn't. So, so this really yeah, matters. Well, we need to stay in the lead. I know. Right. I know. Right. Leonard just well, joined, and I put him into the. I put him in the group that has the least score. But we we uh, need to make sure we get one and only one wrong, so we can continue getting nine. Okay. Yes, sure. we need to have nines across the board. Well, okay. I still don't agree, but with number. Which? Five? Uh, eight. 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 The Declaration oh, yeah. of Independence. Okay, Carl had a pretty strong opinion of this. Carl, can you explain why you think that this should be false? Uh, I just believe yes. I remember reading that uh, it wasn't all, all signed on the same day, that there were some people who weren't even present that day. Yeah. That, but that is, is it that is something that I remember reading something along the way. But Carl, well. is it possible that they had a delegate there to sign on their behalf? I don't think so. I mean, what I remember reading is that it's it's believed that it wasn't signed on July 4th by everyone, and that some of the people and the support for that argument is that some of the people weren't even there that day. Well, you may very well be right, because that's what I thought I'd heard. But I do remember seeing, like I said, a, a paper that was a practice paper of people signing it to practice how they were going to sign in. Yes, and, but if, people the if there were certain people there that weren't there on July 4th, they couldn't have signed a practice paper or a final draft on July 4th. Susan, you're a there, beautiful person, there. but did you just get like a, an, an e-transfer from one of the other teams to kind of <laughs> lead us astray? <laughs> 
that happen? I, I don't know. I okay, go with false. I'm just saying I I felt like a delegate is somebody who sent to be there. Yes, but it wasn't a one day thing. So it could be a well, multi day thing, thing, and the, some of the delegates weren't necessarily there every single day. Yell's probably laughing herself to pieces over there because of what we're arguing about. What, what if someone was delayed in transit? But see, they were what there. If, they should what, have already been there. What if someone's there. horse yes. blew a what tire? What if someone skipped that day because they didn't it know there was going to be a It was the Constitution. Time. I mean, like when we were ratifying the Constitution, that definitely wasn't on the same day. But the Declaration of Independence, I thought, was all discussed. Okay, here's the day. Let's practice signing. Where we're going to. You know sign. how long it would take to write that whole thing out by hand? I don't know. That alone probably took a day. I'm, I'm willing to concede it's false. I just show of hands on this I one. I feel funny about it. That's all. Show of hands on this one. Who's with Susan? <laughs> I'm not going against. Sorry. Hell didn't even raise her I'm going to put it in. I'll put it in this way. I'm not going against Carl in this one. Yeah. So <laughs> he seems pretty determined. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm not guaranteed to be right. All right. So I'm willing to be corrected by fuller and better information. I will call. I will. I will call everybody back. Everybody's back but us. Ah. Yeah. There you go. Imagine that. Boom. All right. <laughs> okay. Here's. Oh, God damn. Why I was reading about Subway. <laughs> okay. So, top. Oh, okay. Bad. In the world. <laughs> Obviously, McDonald's, Burger King, Pizza Hut, KFC, Starbucks. KFC's on the list. Starbucks. Starbucks. Star I don't think Starbucks is on the Starbucks. list. I think it's on the list. It serves food. So it's a coffee place. It's yeah. really a restaurant. No, it serves food. No, it's they serve food. food. Okay, then Dunkin' Donuts is on there too. No, what about what about Taco Bell? Worldwide. Taco Bell's on there. No, Dunkin' Donuts doesn't want to really exist in LA. Taco Dunkin' Bell Donuts doesn't uh, exist in a lot of places. They haven't expanded the correct way. And now they're starting to suck around here. I see them going down because they have that coffee. They have this big giant vat now that they pull a level at your <laughs> tap. It's awful. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to think of places yeah. I've seen in Australia and Britain. Do we have Burger King on the list? I think we should. I who's would, making the list? Caspian who's, keep, looks to, who's, like, who's keeping the list? Caspian, are you doing it? You write them down? Oh, I thought you were. It looked like you were writing. Oh, no. So we have McDonald's, KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Burger King I don't and Starbucks. Know about Taco Bell. I, that'll be in my my. Subway text. has okay. to be we'll on the list. Subway, right Subway's on the list. Subway. Sub, I think Subway's number one. What was, the one you said, what was the one you said before Taco Bell, Peggy? KFC. And, okay, yep, I, KFC's on there. KFC's on the list. Read it again, because I, I I missed one of them. McDonald's, KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Burger King, Starbucks recently added subway okay let me think Any three um, more what about wimpy burger which is not no. an american company but nope. they're pretty everywhere i'd be surprised no. if any non-american companies were on this list yeah. and i've never even seen one either never anyway. heard of it. um what about white castle well they're all over europe no is no 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 white castle i've it's never seen a white castle countries? Uh, and In and Out Burger is not big enough. No, uh, never don't have one around. In and Out is yeah. definitely not big enough. It only recently, in the last decade, started expanding. What about Jack in the Box, an old one? Is that still around a lot of places? Probably that not. Could be. Yeah. I, don't I don't think it's really nice. No, Arby's. Arby's might be on the list. Oh, mm. gross! No, <laughs> I don't, I don't so. know. No. no. You guys, I don't know about how we said this. Country. I think there's something we're missing because the way he was kind of cagey. What, what about Domino's as well as pizza? Because pizza has on the list. What about Domino's? I don't think that would be considered fast food. Yeah, pizza it is. That would be. Oh, yeah. No, they oh, both pizza are fast food. Domino is like delivery, takeout stuff. But yeah, it still could be considered fast food. Little Caesars. Little Caesars no, might be. No, they, they've. Not they've worldwide. Left. No. I don't think they're big enough. No. So what's it? What what do we see all the time? We have all the usual Seven Eleven. Not a fast food place. They sell food. They sell food, but they're not. 
They don't. They sell shitty yeah. cat food. I don't think that are they worldwide. Yeah, that would be my question. There is much fast food they... places Chevron is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, if, if, if you say, the answer, are you Chevron. saying let's add Chevron to the list? Sure, go with it. No. Um, if you say that uh, Starbucks is on there, what about a big coffee chain like um, the one out in Canada or up in Canada that it's starting yeah, to Tim spread Hortons. down? Oh, yeah. Tim Hortons, yeah, that's the name. But I don't Tim think Hortons. it's worldwide. No, I don't know. It, there might be enough in Canada to make up for it, though. There on every. But, Fucking there's more rock. there's more people in California than all of Canada. Yes, yeah, there only have so many. I've never heard of this. Uh, but but if you go to Canada, you'll wonder. We have duck and donuts yeah, on every corner in, in New England. It's unbelievable. Yeah, we don't have that many out here. There's very I've been few to the original one. There. The original ones in Quincy, they still have some of the original benches. I've but never we seen have, a in my hometown we have three Dunkin' Donuts. How about Two, an ice cream place? You could almost see them from each other. They're that close. If you were standing on a, on a hill. Like Baskin Robbins or a... I don't, I don't think there's enough of them because that's also a seasonal item. Which, what was that company? Baskin, Baskin Robbins. Robbins. Yeah, Baskin no. Robbins. That's more like ice cream, though. It is. Oh, what about Dairy Queen? Well, you guys have a lot of those? We'll blaze we have one. Fading. You used to have more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dairy Queen Blazer. I have two so of them in my we area. We need two more. Where are we on our list? Uh, we need three more. We have seven: McDonald's, KFC, Taco Bell. Oh, there's Pizza only nine. Uh, there's only nine. Burger. What about Five oh, Guys? Are, okay. Is Five Guys popular? I don't think it's big enough. I don't think enough. it's big enough, but it's not so big. new. They're well, not going to be a Five Guys. Are well, we still going to go with Dunkin' Donuts? If you count Starbucks, they, they we, really we only sell like. Egg sandwiches. I mean, I'm okay with it. Let's see, but it... coffee a, is a, a food. A donut is a food. Yes, it is. If you're putting Starbucks on the list, you put Dunkin' I don't Donuts. Even on know. The list. Is there a Dunkin' Donuts in, in Monterey County? I don't know that there's a Dunkin' Donuts in California. Yeah, it might not yeah, be there yet. I've heard of it. They're in the Bay Area. Oh, so I would say that's a no. I mean, McDonald's, there's like one. But Dunkin' Donuts is worldwide, though. They have them in other countries. Yeah, but if they're not even in California, hardly at all. But if they're in China, are they in China? Because if they're in China, I, then all bets are off. I've been to China for one day. I don't remember. I was in a pub. <laughs> you didn't eat at the Dunkin' Donuts, did you, Susan? Oh, I don't remember seeing anything like that. Hong Kong, I was in Hong Kong for about three days. And I don't remember seeing any chains at all. Oh. What's another oh, a sub? I ate at the McDonald's in in Hong Kong. Ah, ah. What's the What's another sub place like um, Quiznos or something like that? Quiznos, I, I could see. There Not was a lot of I, I think Jack worldwide. in the Box is over Quiznos. If 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 we go to Quiznos, Jack in the Box seems to me to be more worldwide than Quiznos. Oh uh, well, yeah, I would go with Jack in the Box over Quiznos. But I might include Quiznos as well. Yeah, I don't think Jack. I would go Domino's over Jack in the Box. Domino's over Jack in the Box. Oh, yeah. What are all the commercials on TV for? I don't watch like, TV. I don't know. Like national commercials. You know, what, what restaurants are they? The ones like we've Mindy's. already said. <laughs> I see Red Robin no. commercials, but I don't know how well Wendy's has the most annoying commercial. Who? Wendy's. Wendy's. Wendy. Wendy's. Will we have Wendy's. You will not Wendy's get a finger in our chili. <laughs> Wendy's should be on the list. We have no. Wendy's. No? There's like one in my Are we agreed that Wendy's is on the list? I, I don't know. I would I be comfortable know. saying Wendy's. What was the big chicken thing that they did? The sandwich? There was a big question between who had the better chicken sandwich a couple years ago. Popeyes or oh, Wendy's? Popeyes? Popeyes, Wendy's, uh, or Chick-fil-A? I don't, I don't think, think they spread enough, enough to be on this list. And Chick Fil A, I, I don't want them on the list. Yeah, they might be on it, but I don't want them on the list. Um, it's not Chick Fil A. It, what is the ones that's competing with Chick Fil A? Is it Popeyes? They're Popeyes, Popeyes Chick Fil A, and Wendy's got in the, on the argument later. And now Burger King and McDonald's are coming out with better chicken sandwiches. And KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Let me go through the list one more time. And, and tell you what we, we yeah, haven't decided on. McDonald's, McDonald's, KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Burger King, Starbucks, Subway, maybe Wendy's, maybe Jack in the Box, maybe Domino's. So how many is that? 
I would put well, Domino's sure and um, and six in a box. So we have we seven. Need, we have, we we have need nine. seven for sure. We have seven for sure. We need two of either Jack in the Box, Domino's, or Wendy's. So we need to take one of those off. Right. I take. Them. I would vote. I would vote to keep Domino's. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Domino's is a right. nationwide. They yeah, do huge amounts on, single, on football we days. A single pizza. They deliver oh, like huge we, amounts. My son worked for them for a couple of years. Okay, so we got Jack in the Box or Wendy's. We're taking Jack in the Box out. I think no, so. No, take Wendy's out. I think Wendy's is more popular than Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box used to be popular around our area. I haven't seen one until I went on vacation. I thought they were out of business. In Monterey County, there's there's a lot of one them. Wendy's that I know of, and how many how many Jack in the Boxes? A lot. It's, For it's me, a lot they're about they're, where I am. They they seem about equal in amount. When I when I drive down but 95, still not as much as the other ones we've mentioned. When I drive down 95, every exit has a Waffle House, but now, nothing Waffle above. Waffle House is not fast food. That's a restaurant. Okay. And they, they are they are in a specific area. You're not going to see Waffle Houses in Prague. Yeah. I, I <laughs> don't think Wendy's. I, I honestly don't think Wendy's is is big. Yeah. It's big around here. I mean, if we only I have our population is 150 thousand people, and there's one Wendy's. There's it's more big. Than it's that. big in New England. And in, in ours in in Salinas. I said it's big in Salinas, New England. There's one or two, but. How about that hot dog place that has the big wiener thing? You mean there's wiener one schnitzel. place you're talking about. Wiener schnitzel. No. That's not everywhere. Around the world? No, I'd be surprised about wiener schnitzel. What what, what about something like ooh. like the what? Yum food. The, the, the yum food brand is the combination of Pepsi, Taco Bell, and KFC. KFC. And so I will huge. say I gave this clarification in other rooms, which is that um, all of these are brands. They are all public brands. So like none of them are like name a uh, toy store. Yeah. Like a yeah, all of them know. are a sign you've seen. Not like Bro, Hasbro. Not yum. So yum doesn't count because it's a brand name, not a yeah, so not like it has broken. Yeah. How about that noodle place that you see a lot in um that noodle place. Well, what's the definition of fast food? Is it like a pizza joint, Papa Gino? Like you walk in, you get your food. It's already yeah, prepared for you. The not Domino's like you might not be fast food. Like at a... Domino's might not be fast food though. That's what I was thinking. I don't think I, I would. Do, I would. I would put them as fast food. You call them in a half an hour, an hour later or earlier. They. Deliver. I don't think Domino's is. It might not be a definition. Because it's pizza I think, I think that, any pizza is pretty fast food. Yes. No, I think I, I think not. But then I've been wrong before. It has been no way, Susan. No way. The last five minutes, I've probably been wrong. <laughs> um, Susan, I don't, are you going to agree with me that Mount McDonald's is number one? Because I, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll fight, I'll fight people on that. No, it definitely is because I've traveled <laughs> all over the world and I've always McDonald's found is not number one. I think it's it Subway. Is. Subway is, it is not one. Subway. It is not okay. Subway. We'll see. Definitely McDonald's. I've I'm been for McDonald's. There used to be more Radio Shacks than McDonald's at one time, okay? At one time. When my uncle worked for Radio Shack, he told me there were more Radio Shacks in the United States than, than there were McDonald's. I didn't believe yeah, him. Yeah, but we have to focus on what we're going to say as our answer rather than what Radio yeah. Shack is. Yeah, but I'm just so, sorry, that's why I say Subway. So we have to decide between Jack in the Box, Domino's, or Wendy's, and two of those can stay in, one of them has to go out. I know Domino's stays in. I don't think Domino's is on the list. Domino's stays in. Domino's is huge on football Sundays. They add all the only reason football. why I say take it out is because I don't think it's a real fast food. It's also on like every military base around the world. Yeah, I agree with you, Susan. If it's not fast food, it doesn't belong on the list, but I think it might be. Oh, so yeah, that, I think it's stuff that's in airports. So, Caspian, your vote is yes, Domino's? Yes. Okay. I say Sorry, yes Susan, them. you're outvoted. Jack in the Box, are we yesing or knowing? Uh, who who is yes. left? I would know Jack in the Box. Well, who, who else is to choose from? Wendy's. When, Jack, Wendy's in the Jack, no, in the Jack in the Box or Wednesdays is where we are now. To me, they're the same as far as amount. And I, I wouldn't, I don't think either one of them would be on the list. 
I go with well, Jack. Have something Wendy. else to put. I would go with Wendy's over Jack in the Box. I would go with Jack and Box over Wendy's. Wendy's so, is right. better. Says it's in California, there's a lot of them like that. Okay, I've got two so far. Two votes for Jack. One vote for Wendy. I haven't seen a Jack in the Box until I was near Chicago. Paula, do you have a vote? I I I wouldn't vote for either one of them. No. Yeah, so come for the third. Okay. She, so she's abstaining. So come Catherine, up with another we have one. A vote between Jack and Wendy. Hey, Susan, yeah. If I click close all rooms, is that going to give everybody sixty seconds? Yeah. Yeah. I, I vote for Wendy's. Jack won already. Okay. So, so Paula, you one. said that you don't think either of them. That would mean that so you have who's to number one is the question. Who's number one? McDonald's I say Subway. Is number McDonald's. one. Subway. Subway. McDonald's. McDonald's. We have two two if McDonald's. If you're right, Kevin. Subway. If you're right. We will all say you're right. It doesn't matter. Kick so there's, so we have three <laughs> McDonald's. Caspian's right. Caspian is right. You say McDonald's too, right? No, Subway. Caspian's right. I've been to McDonald's in Hong Kong. I don't think I ever. Hong Kong uh, is a big place. Yeah, yeah. well, I was all over Okay, today. so you're so going to convince me with that now. argument. I, I, I've been to McDonald's everywhere, so. I don't know if I've ever seen a subway. I mean, popularly. Okay. All right. We're set. Good job, guys.